can hear me now. <laughs> you know, I tested my mic on the um, the OBS Studio, and okay, I tested my mic on OBS Studio, and it was working. So I'm not sure what was going on there. Anyway, I try I try to do that if I remember to do it, and I'm not in a hurry. So I did test it. So I'm not sure. I think I'm just having USB problems with my with my jack. Anywho, um. I'm sorry to hear that you're extra tired, but at least you are able to pick up shifts, though, for the extra money. Anyway, so this is uh, Amaya Flores hooked up with Henry Beniz. Now, Amaya is one of the original characters that came with Best in Show. Henry Beniz was an extra character that the Hood Building Group threw in. Uh, his dog was an Irish wolfhound, but he um, died of old age, so he's not here anymore. We used to have four dogs in this house. But Amaya still has Roscoe and uh, the Larkin, who we purchased at the store. So she's got, and they have, of course, grandchildren. Yeah, they've got grandkids. So they had Pinky and Major. And then Pinky had Duchess. And Major had Daniel. So I don't think Duchess. Oh, Duchess does have a puppy. Okay, never mind. They've got great grandkids. Merit. That's right. Mary is with the Chomsky family. Hold on. Now, does Daniel have puppies? Oh, he does have a puppy. Ocelot. Right. So they actually have great grandkids. I feel like when these two pass in about 53 days or so, they should probably adopt their great great. Like this family should adopt the great great grandchildren. Because we've got, let me see. That would be the fourth generation. I think. Wait, that's the first generation. Second, third, fourth. So fifth generation. So yeah, like when by the time we get around to um, breeding the fourth generation, which I haven't even begun to consider because I'm I'm taking my time. <laughs> uh, they sh these guys should have at least one of the puppies. I feel. Also, I can't do a tree of his dog because he used to own um, Simon. The, the Irish gray wolfhound, right? And and uh, Simon has grandchildren too, and great-grandchildren, I believe. So I feel like they should adopt, by the time that they're the fifth generation of dogs are created, that they, they should have first dibs on the original dogs that they owned. Anyway, uh, these guys still have like a few days. Hold on. Where's the days left bush? I think one of these is the days left. Uh, no, we can't use that one. Okay, Larkin has 50 days, Roscoe has 50 days. So that's like, so basically the next, in the next round, which will be 48 days from now, uh, Roscoe and Larkin are going to pass away during that, during that, um, uh, I'm having a brain fart. During that round, <laughs> when we're playing the family, they're actually going to pass away while we're playing the family. Halfway through. So that's what that means. Anyway, Fiona has four days left, so we're going to definitely have her we'll have a little party. Shrek is three days left, so he 36 days left from being a teenager. So he will become a teenager while we're playing other families. Henry, or sorry, Harry, just became a child, so we're going to give him, we're going to gussy him up. Uh, he's got 68 days, so he'll still be a kid. And of course, uh, we get to play with Fiona, who will also be a child. So we'll have one teen, two children next time. And we're going to lose two of the dogs. So that's fine. Anyway, I feel like I'm getting kind of sick of this color. I really like how the way it, it, it the kitchen turned out in this whole area. But I feel like they need a bigger table now, you know. And... I don't know. I just, I'm sick of that color. I feel like we should gussy it up a little bit. Also, these rooms here are going to turn into offices and music rooms because he likes his music. So this will be like a man cave for Henry. And this will probably turn into like a sewing craft room because we do have a downstairs. Of course, we have a downstairs. <laughs> okay, it's Saturday at 6.03 a.m. Um... 
I'm probably not going to do too many things to this basement. I think we're pretty much done with this. We've got the only thing we don't have is a chess table, but I don't want to move anything to squeeze it in. I am going to rearrange. Um, we have this little area. So this used to be Shrek's room, just his room. But we're going to have to squeeze in Harry. Harry and Shrek are going to have to share this room. So I put in a bunk bed. Uh, he likes blue. Uh, Harry likes purple. On, I don't want to take away this desk, though. So what I did was I put a spare desk out here. I'm also going to put a bookcase. And there's the little ant farm. The ant farm used to be in here. So I'm going to give them a bookcase. Because there's no bookcase in this room. So she can use it. So Fiona can use the bookcase, too. So let's just give them a bookcase. So I got the matching uh, Art Nouveau bookcase, as you can see. You can also get a middle one to join them together. Like there's a single one that, and you could just like you literally use the quarter tile placement sheet to stick them all together and do one big thing. Anyway, um, I do know that there's recolors of this. I, oh, I do have recolors. There's not a lot. I think we'll just keep it like that for the time being. And this Ikea desk, I'm not too sure about this Ikea desk. It's a little too, I don't know. Let's see, hold on. Let's go to the uh, the small living collection folder. For, wait, that's four to two what? For rent. Four to two for rent. Oh, that's the build menu. And this is the four to two for rent buy menu. There's the Moshino kit, which is kind of weird. It's a weird kit. It has some cool windows, though. But it's mostly, it's basically a photographer's studio. So there's a lot of photography-related stuff in there. There's everyday clutter. I'm oh, sorry. Where's the, there's the 42 Cottage Living Collection. There we go. Tiny Living. I'm sure they must have a desk in here. I know this is just like a little... Like a little hallway, but I feel like there should be a rug in here. You know, just to make it a little cozy, break up the monotony of the wood floor. All right, so we're going to take this. We're going to try and find a desk. Oh, here's a desk. Let's see if they have, I'm pretty sure they have bookcases. I don't know why it's flashing blue in in the thing you know okay we're just going to put one of those and let's put like a decorative object instead like i don't know something like that what's this vertical mini garden hmm yeah, I don't think we're going to do that. I, th I want something sort of decorative. There, that looks good. Um, I'm going to put this in here and get rid of that. Yeah, that looks good. I feel like we should have a plant here, you know? I don't think there's any plants in that collection folder. So let's just go. I've got way too many extra plants here. Some of them, I mean, they're beautiful. Don't get me wrong. They're beautiful. But I want this one to actually go up on the top of this bookcase. And I think I'd have to put it on an OMSP to achieve that result. So there's a lot of gardening like greenhouse shit in here. I just want like an actual plant that we could stick in the corner. I guess I could use one of the tiny living tables. Let's get a tiny living table. And put like a plant on it. There we go. <laughs> that looks good. That's cute. So it's brown on this side, but it's still white on this side because I've got I'm using the uh, Honeywell doors. 
So I decided to do this to the bathroom because we're probably going to, I don't know what we're going to do with Fiona's thing. Anyway, uh, I don't know what her favorite color is. So we're going to actually put the dog bath here. I'm going to get rid of this thing. Also, by the way, in terms of story progression, um, I put the pregnancy folder back in, and I also put the alien abductions back in. So I had temporarily taken that, taken them out for round four because I didn't want, I wanted to have a moratorium on pregnancies. So can I just move this over? There we go. And we're going to put the dog bath this way so it faces the door as, as they're coming in. See, I think that would be a little bit better. See, that's, that's better. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to put this over here. Boop. And then we're going to put like a sorting hamper. Boop. Oh, I didn't do the coupon on Monday because... Um, I was really exhausted from, I had so many errands. I did meet my, my great aunt, uh, at, 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 a, at Red Lobster and, and Costco. And it, by the time I got home, I was so exhausted. So I'll do a coupon next Monday. Um, cause I don't want to, if I did a coupon today, it's going to screw up my schedule. I kind of want Mondays to be for the coupon, but if I do it on a Wednesday, I have to wait seven whole days before I can do it again, which kind of sucks. So if you didn't get a coupon last week, there are still coupons available. But if you got a coupon last Monday, like uh, 10 days ago, you can't, you can't get it. I don't think you can get another coupon. You could try, but I don't think you can. If you can, I would be shocked. But please let me know if you can double dip. It would be interesting. Anyway, yeah, I'll do a coupon next Monday. Sorry about that. That's fine, Bobo. I was just checking. <laughs> Did you tune them at all or is it back to 90%? Oh, thank you. I actually had, yeah. So I turned the pregnancy down to 1%. Uh, but see, this is what I did in round four. I actually put everybody on birth control and put it so that they couldn't have children, both the men and the women. So now I have to go into each house and do that for all the men and women. It's like take them off birth control so we can start. And also, I'm going to put the pregnancy rate back to like 20% maybe. That that's Thank you for reminding me, Carrie. I forgot all about that. I forgot about that. But I wanted to put it to 0%, but I, you can't. You have to pick, you know, 1% or higher. So, yeah, um, I'm going to allow them to start having kids again. Uh, there's actually the youngest children in... The youngest children that we have right now are two, between the ages of two and three. So there will, there will be a gap, but I already have a gap anyway. There's already a five-year gap between uh, the baby boom and the teenagers that were pre-existed in the game beforehand. So there, I, I don't mind having gaps because I don't want, you know, everybody to be like the same age all the time. I want there to be gaps between the, the, the baby booms. You know what I'm saying? Also, and most of my adults can still have children, too. That's another thing, so. <laughs> That's a percentage. So, yeah, I didn't, uh, it's actually, I still had one person. No, I had two people still get pregnant at 1%. Uh, they were two of the pre, pre-made college students from Quaddington University, and I was kind of pissed off about it. <laughs> uh, I got these notifications that they had had children. I'm like they were pregnant <laughs> how did they get pregnant i put the everybody on birth control anyway it doesn't matter uh birth control isn't 100 as you know so it happens anyway so we rearranged things again so basically i haven't checked this kid out yeah he he became a child when we weren't looking so here oh they're gossiping about <gasps> i think they're gossiping about uh that's alice's mother i think no no that's riley's mother Okay, how do they know Riley's mother? And what are they saying about her? So rude. <laughs> Fucking children. Anyway, let's go ahead and gussy up Harry. Let's see what he looks like as a child. He looked pretty handsome when he was a toddler. So first, we're going to just look at his appearance. We already know what uh, we already know what Shrek looks like. They're both. They are they cute? They're both wearing similar pajamas. So adorable. 
<laughs> oh, it's in, no, it's invalid. Uh, Carrie, did you get a coupon last Monday? If not, try to try to get a coupon now. We're going to have another baby boom. I want to have another baby boom. I just wanted to. Oh, oh, he's cute. He's very handsome. He's de he definitely has very specific look about him. He's not like a general run-of-the-mill sim. I kind of like his eyes. They're different. I'm trying to see who he looks most like. I think he looks more like Amaya, to be honest with you, than Henry. Could be wrong about that. Oh. I like his nose. I like everything about... Oh, that's cute. Mm. Oh, that's cute. I don't think I have any boys with that haircut. Should we put him in one? No, I don't like that. He doesn't look good in that. I really like these caps. They look good on teenage boys and adult men as well. I really, really like that. I got these recently. I don't know who. Um, but it's for, as you can see, it's for boys of all ages. So I already have a couple of children in these caps. I've got one in this color and one in that color. So I'm, I've already sort of, oh, this is a dorky looking cut. Look at the bangs. It looks like their mother, like their mother literally put a bowl I don't know if you guys remember this. You're probably too young to remember this. But back in the 60s and 70s, uh, there was something called the bowl cut. And parents would put like a like a cereal bowl over a boy's head and then just trim around, like trim the bangs from the, the cereal bowl. Like they would just literally go all the way around the head. <laughs> That's what they did to my brothers. <laughs> Poor little things. <laughs> Uh, oh god so some of you might have parents or even grandparents that have school pictures of them in a bowl cut and so that's where that came from i don't know who started that trend but it was probably in good housekeeping it's probably like oh we have this great haircut hack if you if you can't afford to take your kids to the hair salon this is what you do you put a bowl over their head <laughs> Anyway, that this reminds me of the bowl cut, just this part right here, because it's like a very short. But the rest of the hair looks good. I actually like this cut. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep this cut on him. It's actually kind of cute. I was wondering if you were gonna have another. Oh, I recently had an ugly teenager age up into a good-looking. Oh, I got my pack because I didn't get it last. Oh, okay. So at least the coupon is still valid. As long as, long as I don't cancel it, it's it should still work. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to give him male eyelashes. And we're going to maybe change the color of his natural lips. Yeah, that looks good. Aside from that, should we give him freckles? He definitely is a distinctive face, which I like. So I'm not going to do... I am going to do the... Um, the uh, what's it, like Buddy Holly glasses trick. To see where his eyes are. Okay, so he passes the Buddy Holly eyeglass test. His eyes, I mean, the, the eyes don't have to be perfectly centered in the middle, but they have to have, they have to sort of be within a certain range to have, uh, to look good. Aesthetically. So he passes the test. I don't have to give him surgery. <laughs> I wouldn't want to anyway. He's so distinct looking. I love his the shape of his eyes. I have the thing because I just wasn't expecting this sim to grow into their nose and cheekbones so well. It's possible that they had a broken face. And when they grew up into an adult, the game had no choice but to take another face template that was close. That's probably what happened. But hey, they're like a seven. <laughs> anyway, I'm very pleased with him. He likes purple. So we're going to guessy him up. I don't think boys have a lot of purple things that they can buy. But let's let's try to see how much purple we can give this kid. Purple! <laughs> right off the bat. Let's see if there's any purple... Oh yeah, there's purple. There's purple. That, that these are the recolors by Michelle for that flannel suit. Okay, here's purple. Get him that. That actually looks cute. 
All right, so let's just put him in this one because it's spring. So we're going to put him in this spring outfit for the time being. That's purple. All right, next. Uh, yeah, we're going to just have to give him pink. Sorry, sorry, buddy. It's a pinkish purple color. <laughs> That's my justification. Uh, purple. How handsome is that? He's going to be he's going to be a lady killer, I think. There's no purple, but let's just get gray for him. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. There's a, that's pinkish purple. Isn't it? Or at least the shorts have pinkish purple. I mean, this is pink. But it kind of looks like the pattern on the shorts are like they could pass for a, a pinky purple color. I'm, I know I'm stretching it. <laughs> uh, this has purple in it, but I think I'm going to just go with that one. He's waving to the ants. How cute is that? <laughs> Technically speaking, this is purple. You know, I'm, you know what? Just Let's just go ahead and put him. We're going to keep the pink thing. So this is both his underwear and his sleepwear. It's some of the things double as both. So, sorry, buddy. And we'll probably get this for his outdoor outfit unless we can get a purple coat. Oh, damn. There's already a purple coat there. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, very nice. All right. Um, okay, so he's set up. He's got, he sleeps on the bottom bunk. So he's sharing with his brother, Shrek. Uh, let's get reacquainted with Shrek and see what he looks like. I forgot what he looks like. I mean, I know he's an alien, but don't forget, she, if this is the first child that was conceived. <gasps> no! <laughs> no, why did it do that? What's happened? Anyway, uh, he's the first child to be conceived in this uberhood. He's also the first alien. So she basically got impregnated the very first night that I was setting her up. So the first family I set up was Henry, and then I set her up. She was the second. And she got pregnant right away. She walked over the telescope at about 7 p.m. on her own, immediately got abducted, and got pregnant with Shrek. So, yeah, I have a special place in my heart for Shrek because he is the first child. Uh, anyway, my game just crashed, and I don't know why. So I got that going for me. <laughs> You little fucker. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold up. I don't know why it crashed. I have a new security thing, though. Maybe the security thing. I have AVG. Uh, AVG, AVG. NVIDIA GeForce Game Ready Driver Update is available. OBS Studio. Discord. Maybe I should quit Discord. I don't know why that would be an issue. I'll quit Overwolf. I only need that when I'm playing uh, Lethal Company anyway. I don't even know. Pretty sure I told it not to start up. Uh, exit that. I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't get rid of any of the AVG shit. But I, it, it's supposed to be not a resource hog. Like, it's not supposed to be taking a lot of resources away. I'm not sure why my game just crashed. Um, okay, so hold on, hold on. I'm going to open up the task manager, see what's going on here. If there's like some kind of weird thing. No, that's pretty good. So it can't be a CPU issue. Because there's nothing, because AVG does not take very much. I mean, look, it's not taking any, any CPU at all. It's taking a little bit of memory, but, but not a lot. Not compared to some of the other antivirus uh, security packages. It's the least evasive, invasive. Anyway, uh, let's let's get her going again. Let's get her started. And while that's starting up, hold on. How long have I been on? I don't think I've been on for. Yeah, I've only been on for thirty minutes. I'm just gonna go top off my tail. Be right back while you. Oh, great! It's it's starting at eight hundred by six hundred. That's awesome. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dumb down some of my graphics a little bit. Um, that might be an issue. Anyway, I'll be right back in like in a minute.
it's it's been a while since I had the game crash like that. And I wasn't even playing it. I was just doing the gussy up thing, so I was kind of odd. It was what was it? It was like Oh boy, here comes the ugliest romance sim ever. But then they're like a seven. Now it was Alex Alexander Goth's daughter. What face templates are you using? Just out of curiosity. And also there's a couple of fixes for the broken face templates. Um, over on Inseminator, I believe. I have the Argon fix. I have a couple of fixes. I just don't know who did them. I basically was following you know who's advice when I first set up my um my hood. So it was on her her list. But I think there's some, yeah, there's an Argon face fix, uh, Argon alien fix. Argon is over on, it's either Maddie or Inseminator. I always get those two mixed up. I have the fixes and I use Cindy's. Oh, okay. Guys, her face wasn't broken. She was just, uh, oh. <laughs> well, here's the problem with Lucy. Lucy has a weird shape. Her eyes are kind of high up on her head. So that's why I always do the Buddy Holly glasses uh, test to see. Because Max's faces, some of the pre-made Max's um, Sims are just, they're not aesthetically correct in terms of, because our faces are based on a mathematical um, a mathematical thing, equation. And if our if our if the symmetry is off or it's the, the mathematical numbers are off, then we're considered quote unquote ugly, right? So some of the Max's faces, the eyes are way too far up on the head. Like they would never exist in real life. It just or unless the person was severely inbred. <laughs> so oh my God. Yes, it does happen, especially in um EA. <laughs> but sometimes they grow out of it though. But it's like that in real life. Sometimes when you're ugly as a child, you turn out super beautiful. I know sometimes I listen to interviews by famous models, like gorgeous models, and they're like, I was so ugly as a kid, and I was so fat as a kid, and I turned out to be a model, which shocked everybody. So some people, and some people start out beautiful. They, they have this beautiful white hair and blue eyes as a child, and they look so angelic and cute. And then they turn into like, ugh, <laughs> when they're adults. <laughs> anyway, let's just get into the game, shall we? <laughs> I've said enough. I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> but like, but like, as I said, it happens in real life. So that's why I don't like to do plastic surgery on teenagers. Uh, I like to, I like to wait. Sometimes I can't, I can't, I can't help it. I have to just do it because they're just so ugly. <laughs> I try though. All right. So we're going to fix the screen size. We're also going to do... The reflections are already turned off, so we're going to actually have less smooth edges. I can't turn them down. I can't turn everything down because some of the clothing will disappear. I'm going to actually turn down the view distance to small. So basically, it, we're not going to see neighbors or trees or anything like that. The clickable neighbors is off. 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 So yeah, it's not, it's not, I, I don't know why it, it uh, stopped like that. So I'm just going to assume that these, these things were all too high up. I'm going to keep texture detail high, graphic effects high, and same object detail high because of the outfit situation. Some of the outfits don't show up properly if I turn these down. Anyway, let's see, uh, hopefully it doesn't crash again. I'm going to have to redo the gussy up though, but that's fine. Do, am I going to get like a thing saying, do you, are you sure you want to keep these settings? I'm not sure if I am. Okay, let's just go ahead and go back into the house. Yeah, we're going to have to just gussy, like buy clothes for him again, I'm pretty sure. But aside from that, that we didn't really do anything with the family. I was just showing you around the downstairs part. We, we're going to have to work on the living room this time around, though. That's... I 
And I feel like we should do something with the kitchen area and just kind of mix it up a little bit, you know? Also, I got rid of several trees on the lot. I got rid of several trees. Um, I might have to get rid of more trees. Let's get rid of these two trees. There's a tree back here. Oh, I was in the... I was to Hold on. I gotta fix this. I put, want to put like a workable gate here. Put this here. It's kind of weird only having two dogs now on this lot. I've been playing with four dogs for so long. We can keep the fruit tree, I suppose. But get rid of that tree. Too many polygons. We'll put this here. I gotta put all my cheats up again. Got the quarter tile cheat. Move objects cheat. Get rid of that. All right, we don't really need, I might actually bring out this porch because there's no need to have it this short. Like we could bring it all the way to the, the to here. And then get rid of this. We don't really need a fence there unless I put something else. Hold on. I'm going to get rid of this thing. There we go. That way the dogs can pee wherever they want. Um, I don't think we need this light. We have lights over here. We should probably have some lights. I'm going to get rid of these trees. Just in case that was the thing that crashed the game. Oh, I've got these de these default these new defaults by TV Vicky Sim. I'll deal with these later. All right. I suppose I can keep this tree. Here, but I got rid of most of them. I have lots of bushes. I might, I think I'll probably just get rid of all these flowers. There's too many polygons going on here. All right. All right, Fiona's still in her crib. It's still six in the morning. I don't know why. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see what's going on. Everybody's got to get into their PJs. All right, so let's let's get Harry back into his purple clothing. Oh, look, I lost everything because I had worked on the bunk bed before I started the thing. Oh, you fucker. I'm going to have to put the bunk bed back in there. It's fine. It's fine. I'm going to have to redo this area. Okay, now I'm, now I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> now I'm in a pissy mood. I have to redo this. This whole area? Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just play the game. <laughs> the house is fine. The house is fine. We don't need this, though. Because Harry's Harry's a, a big boy now. So what we're going to do is the kids are going to come up and get their own thing. Uh, get a child meal. We're going to have a cereal. I need to make this uh, bat box. need to... To fix the bat box. Change object model. Oh, no, no, don't want that. There's this one. What else do we have? Oh, little horsey! Oop. Bonsai. We can't have two bonsai trees. Nope. 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 Aw! That's cute. We could put that in the, on the garden. Oh, it's a little present. 
We can turn it into a present. That's cute. Oh, no, another present. And, uh, okay. Aw. That's cute. That's like a tip jar, right? That's a tip jar. What the fuck is that? Is that like a vase? For, is that cologne? Oh, it's a teapot. All right, let's do the teapot. Let's do the teapot. You just got some ads, Carrie? Are you kidding me? Hi, Cupcake. How are you? <laughs> Wait a second. Did anybody else get ads? Because the pre-roll ads are supposed to be off. It was a while ago now. Hold on. Hold on. That sh shit's not supposed to be happening. I'm going to go to my... Uh... I was trying to, to go to automatic ads because they said that they changed it, so... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. There we go. Anyway, they're supposed to be off. And we don't need these anymore. We're done with these. I don't know what we're going to do to this patio, but I might actually put a table out there. But I feel like we should have a bigger table because eventually we're going to need five people, right? Maybe I should just deal with it when... um in the next rotation because Fiona doesn't age up till the end of this rotation. There she is. Little Fiona. Anyway. I'm kind of pissed off that I have to redo. Well, it wasn't a lot of work. It was just a little work. Okay, you come upstairs. Where's Shrek? Shrek, you get up here. Both of you are going to have cereal. Oh, Trait added. Inappropriate. Oh, God. Hold on. Okay, I need to do something about these stairs because, yeah. Why is it? You see, this is this always happens. And why is the nanny showing up? Oh, my God. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I said I was going to fix the stairs in the last rotation. We're, we're fixing the stairs. So you are going to go over here. You're going to go over here. There's like a bottleneck happening. So in order for me to, I'm just gonna get rid of the stairs. Um, I'm gonna have to put in like actual stairs and then have them wrap around. So it's, it's a good thing we actually have the space in this house. All right, you're gonna have to move over here, sweetie. All right, let's go ahead and do it. It's been a while since I've done this. I've been, I've been kind of lazy using the circular staircase. So what we're gonna do we're probably going to have to get rid of walls and stuff because stairs can be a real bitch sometimes. Oh, what happened? Oh, the game did not like that. Did you see that? What the fuck just happened? It did not like that. All right, hold on. If I do, uh, hold on. I have to think about this. The stair. If the stairs go down. Okay, so are you telling, hold on. Are you telling me, let me turn the moved objects sheet off. Maybe that's what's causing issues. Are you telling me that I can't put this platform up above here? No, I can't. It's not letting me. Without screwing up everything. Okay, that's kind of weird. I have to think about this one. I might have to rearrange this living room. I might have to push this over a little bit and have the stairs come down this way. Or I could try to use one of the original circular. I can still use circular stairs, but I have to use like the original ones that came with Apartment Life, and I can't use the CC anymore. Like I could probably use this one. 
But if I were to put in regular stairs, how do I, because I've actually put this against walls in the past. I put the, the, um, the platform against walls and it didn't do that. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on. If I put tiles here, will it stop it? If I put like tiles like this, is it still going to collapse it? Oh, okay. So it stopped it from doing over here. So that's how, that's the workaround right there. That's the workaround. We're just going to have to temporarily put tiles here in order to put a raised foundation inside the house. Okay. You see, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I can still do it. <laughs> Also, the stairs are going to have to come out to here. Possibly here. I don't know how I feel about that. So this is why I like using circular stairs. So you don't have to do shit like this. And. Put that over here. Put that over here. I think, it, I think the stairs are going to be like here. The only other way around it, yeah, I might actually have to take out this one too. Let's see. Oh, okay. So the stairs down, okay, hold on. I thought I'd have to like get rid of a, a wall, but at least it's like it's like the um, the underneath stairs, so you can walk underneath now. It's not the solid stairs. By the way, if you want to put these in your game, you have to like there's a special trick to actually get them to work with the Ultimate Collection. I had to like cut and paste in the actual file. I couldn't just put the text, the um, the scriptorium text in the folder. It's a pain in the arse. I might actually put it in my, um, the directions to, to use these underneath stairs in my thing. So people should be able to go underneath anyway. All right. So they have actual stairs now. I'm not happy about it, but it is what it is. Okay. We're actually going to need railings going all the way down because it's actually an open staircase at this point. Oh my God, you guys. There we go. And we need a little fence so people don't fall off. Can't have people falling off. Yeah, if I use the Maxis ones, the animation works. You can actually go up and down the staircase and the pets won't throw errors. And they can they don't sit there and bottleneck. I'm just I don't know, I'm just sick of uh, sick of using the Maxis ones. <laughs> So I could technically just use those. It made my life a little easier. Where's the um the railing that matches this? Is that is that it? Because it has a little asterisk on it. See, now, oh, look at that. Hold on. Oh, we can actually put stuff over here, guys. Look at that. So the thing is, is that you have to have a, a four squares open to put in a, a stair, but it looks like you can actually cover one up once the stairs are in there. Okay, so that's their downstairs now. So technically, we could do something with this area. I don't know what, it's an odd shaped, it's like an L shaped area. I'm not sure what we could put in here. Um, maybe we could move this laptop over here and have like a little desk area, maybe. But I feel like there should be stuff here, you know? Like maybe, I don't know, a sewing desk or something. I don't know. We were gonna actually turn one of these bedrooms into a sewing area. Or an arts and crafts area. I suppose we could set up like a little art area with an easel. 
because there's a window right here so it'd be great for like an artist's corner artist nook i guess you could call it anyway regular staircase i'm probably gonna have to do that with several of the houses but uh they should be able to walk under under this so we're going to test that right now all right so i'm going to have amaya go upstairs go upstairs Is she not going under this? Because I have a mod that lets you go underneath stairs. You, come here. You, get over here. No, not you. You, come here. Yep, she's okay, she's fine. All right, you come here. See, they can both use it at the same time. Okay, you're going to have to dismiss her. Wait a second, hold up. Are you working today? You're not working today. It's Saturday. She shouldn't even be here. You come... Oh, hey. Hold on. Dismiss her. Tell her to fuck off. Bye! Fuck off! Thank you! You sit there. Alright, little boy. Come upstairs. Have some cereal. Yeah, I... What is going on? You come up, have some cereal. Okay, the dog is going down. Okay, you can use the stairs at the same time as the dog. Okay, now. <laughs> Wait a second, I gotta get rid of this nanny. Oh my god, I gotta turn move objects back on. So, so this is what it's gonna be like, huh? A EA gods. <laughs> You're going to be a bitch today, is that it? You. There you go. Alright, you, Roscoe. Come here. You can use the stairs at the same time. I swear to God. Alright, I don't know why he's cheering, but... Come up here. It's a good thing you don't have to go to school today, because you'd be late. Yeah, why is why are the kids cheering? What's happening? Is that like a three to two trait thing? All right, so this dog is pissing. I think this dog is just like stuck. Oops. <laughs> oh my god. You come here. Thank you. You come here. <laughs> Anyway, you're supposed to be able to use this because I have a fix for this. You're supposed to be able to go down the stairs and someone else is supposed to be able to go up the stairs at the same time without causing issues. They don't sit there and wait for them to finish. That's one of the benefits of having straight stairs. Even if they wrap around like this, you, you should still, two people, like one person can come down, one person can go up. I think what the problem was is that the nanny was stuck and then the dog came up while the nanny was still stuck so now that they're unstuck this should be fine people two people should be able to use this at the same time and it, the pets aren't going to throw any more errors in this house like they did last time <laughs> it was a bit of a shit show all right you grab some cereal oh he's making oh he's making food all right why are you playing kicky ball in the house come on now Oh, okay. No, no, no kicky ball. Oh, I have to take them off birth control. I have to do that. Hold on. Uh, birth control is off. Sim can get pregnant. Same thing with you, Henry. Birth control is off. Sim can get pregnant. Okay. All right, you. You're, you're. Are you still in the yellow? Well, sort of. Uh, you should probably have some breakfast. Why don't you... Oh, Fiona. I forgot about Fiona. Fiona's a little bit hungry, but she needs to potty more than anything else. It, does she already know how to potty herself? Oh, she got out of her crib. Hold on. I don't think she's got a potty up here. I think all the potties were downstairs at one point. So I'll just have to get another one. I like the one with the little teddy bear on it. Alright, you. I think I think she can we already okay, yeah. 
she's already been potty trained. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we wanted to do that, because um, I knew that she was gonna, age, she'd be close to aging up, and I wanted to take care of all that stuff. Are you gonna get your thing? Did you leave your muffin in there? Yes. Now it's gonna be burnt. Okay. You see what you did there? All right. Where's Where's Henry going? He wants to practice. No, I think you need to get food. You better not get food poisoning. Alright, so what are we going to do with this family, guys? Should we try to take them on another vacation? I'm kind of afraid. I haven't swapped out my vacation hoods yet. Alright, you. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna have your your dad get you some milk, and then I'm gonna have your dad like play with you because I don't think that you have a very high. Yeah, you have like a yeah. shitty relationship with your dad. Hmm. So dad is gonna spend some time with you today. Is dad working? Dad, are you working today? Field agent level seven. He does want to be a head of SCIA. Hold on. Okay, so he actually got promoted, you guys. He was intelligence level six. So he's been promoted to field agent. Let me just write this down. All right, very nice. Now, has she been promoted? No, because I didn't want her. I don't want her to go above science teacher level four. I want her to stay a science teacher. That's why I haven't had her work on any of her, her skills. I mean, she could work on cooking and anything not related to her job. So she could work on mechanical and charisma, but I want her to not work on anything that would help her get a promotion. All right, she, uh, oh, she's got a pee. I'm over here and pee. And you shouldn't be tired, but story progression fucked up your motive. So actually, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to do this because these guys supposedly just woke up. So we're just going to do that. They should not be tired. Get me hungry and other stuff, but they shouldn't be tired. It's like 8.27 a.m. on a Saturday. We'll, do, we'll just do that. She's fine. All right, Dad, you need to spend some time with your daughter. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm. You're fine. You're fine. All right, you need to hold her. Snuggle. Like, he's got a very bad relationship with her. It's not in the negatives, but it's at zero. Okay, she, she can't toss her in the air because she just had some milk. Talk. <laughs> 20 over 6. There we go. That's that's a big improvement. Can you do other stuff with her now? Play. Tickle. Tickle her. Can you play peekaboo? Yeah, he can't play peekaboo with her yet. It's not high enough. You just tickle her. Like this because of this problem, this platform is basically unroutable. I've seen this before. Is the t yeah, she's going to age up at the, on the last day of the rotation. So my workaround was to get put tiles here. So now I have to get rid of the tiles. Stairs are a pain in the arse. Sometimes you have to tear down a, a, like a bunch of walls to put in a staircase. But I'm just tired of using the circular staircase, honestly. It's like... Because I'm, I'm too lazy to, to do this. Because the, this can be a pain in the ass. I'm surprised this actually turned out as, as quickly as it did. 
Um, because usually, usually when you put in a staircase, you have to delete the walls here and the walls that run along the side of the stairs, and it could be a real nightmare. But at least I was able to put the platforms in by put, by temporarily putting tiles here, so that that was a good workaround. So anyway. Okay, why are you playing catch? I'm, I'm pretty sure that I have a mod that keeps you from playing catch inside the house. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, by the way, let's just uh, reacquaint ourselves with the with the parents and their and their uh, characteristics. There are three to two traits. So we've got Amaya, who's one of the originals. She's actually Alice's best friend, so she played a huge role in the original storyline. Amaya Flores. She's Sagittarius. She's knowledge pleasure. Nature is her hobby. She wants to complete an insect collection. Uh, she is in the science career level four. She she always will be. So she's permanently the 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 science teacher for the Uberhood. Uh, she has a degree in biology. Um, her traits: great kisser, loves the outdoors, animal lover. Family oriented, bookworm, flirty, star quality, loves the heat. Hates red, loves orange. Um, that actually might as well take out the job stopinator because it doesn't work with story progression. I am going to put the career uh, out, like the outfit, job outfit stopinator in her thing while we're playing because I don't want her dressing up like whatever the science teachers look like. <laughs> I'm not sure what they look like. Probably just like all the other scientists, I'm sure. So there's this big bat. And I'm going to put it, I'm going to take out another one for her husband. So let's just get rid of the job stopinator. As long as her skills are down, she shouldn't be promoted anyway. Because the story progression can't, can't um, promote her if her skills are below what's the minimum requirement. Okay, so wait a second. He likes turquoise. She likes orange. Orange and turquoise. Okay. That's probably why I chose this color for the, the kitchen. Because this is technically orange. Um, so I'll probably maybe turn this into a turquoisey bedroom. This is kind of true. It's mostly blue, but... If I change this to a turquoisey bedspread, maybe that will be, and maybe put down a rug or something. But we got to do something about that living room. That's like the last room that's still original to the to the house. Like I haven't done anything to, <laughs> to this living room. Um, everything else has been changed. So anyway, all right. So those are, and what are his characteristics? Okay, so. Henry, who is a new character, was not in the original storyline. He's a Leo, uh, fortune romance, uh, music and dance is his hobby. He wants to be head of the SCIA. He's an intelligence seven. He has a psychology degree. He is charismatic, brave, good, animal lover, hopeless romantic, eccentric, star, qual star quality. They both have star quality. It's so weird. Excitable. Okay. Likes turquoise, hates pink. Shrek. As I said before, he is the first child that was conceived in this hood and also the first alien. He is neat, shy, and a genius. Likes blue, hates black. The newly aged up Harry. Um, okay, so Shrek is a Virgo and science is his hobby. Harry is a Sagittarius and games are his hobby. He likes purple, hates brown. He's a slob. He's athletic. And he's inappropriate. <laughs> oh, God. I don't think he got anything from his parents. And I don't think Shrek got anything from his parents. I'm pretty sure that his parents don't have any of these. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. The toddler is a Pisces. And arts and crafts are her, her thing. She's excited. So far, she's excitable and easily impressed. She likes turquoise, uh, like her dad. And hates orange. But her mother likes orange. Okay, so interesting. 
I can neither agree nor disagree with any of the choices of the traits. I, I, for now, I'm just going to keep them as is. Until I get to know them a little bit better. Anyway, uh, you guys need to take that outside. First of all, have you eaten? I think, you, I think they've both eaten. He has not eaten. Go eat something. And you, you need to study fire safety right now before a fire happens. That's what you're doing on Saturday morning. Zivla. Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing with her? Mm -hmm. sure what's going on here? Okay. Mm -hmm. Why don't you draw me a picture? I only have three mm. pictures up here. You, uh, go upstairs and get changed. Actually, we need to work on his motives. We've got a big puddle here. Plus, he needs to eat something. All right, Shrek. Shrek needs to get, um, I'm gonna use the bathroom down here that I just created. I'm gonna have to redo all over again. Oh. Oh, who's this? Hello. Mm. Lisa Gilbert, you're a long way from home, because that's Theta Gilbert's daughter. I think I'm going to have to gussy her up. I don't like that outfit. What, for, first of all, why don't you go greet her? Go get uh, Lisa so she can come in and play Don't Wake the Llama with the boys. I'm also going to gussy her up and change her pants, because she's supposed to be wearing pantless uh, leggings. Or whatever they're called. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. <laughs> uh, we're going to buy every day. So I like the dress. The dress is pretty, but we're going to change that so it looks like a dress. Like it acts like a dress. Oh, God. Every time I switch to Gussie up, I get very nervous. All right. There we go. Perfect. All right, now we're going to, I just want to see what she looks like because I have not seen her since she was a toddler. Because I haven't checked in with the Gilbert house lately. I'm going to do that, by the way, in round five. I'm going to check in with every single family. Just to see what's going on with them in terms of their jobs and stuff like that. Okay. I'm just going to do that the uh, Buddy Holly test. Eh, her highs are a little high up, but if we use those glasses, it's not so bad. Her eyes, okay, see, with those glasses, it's not so bad. They're still a little too high up. I'd probably take them down, like, one notch. Anyway, uh, hold on, let's get rid of the glasses. I'm going to give her... Eyelashes for the time being. I don't know about that hair. It's kind of fancy. Oh, no. Mm -mm. No. No. That's a little too fancy for a little girl. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, you see how her, you could just tell by looking at it that there's something a little off about the face, that the eyes are just a little too high up. But I'll, I'll deal with her when she's a teenager. For the time being, she looks good. Okay. All right, so. Hmm. 
Why is he in the yellow? Oh, because his environment sucks. Plus, he's also kind of hungry. He's not having fun. Okay, you're just going to have to mop that up. Alright, I'm going to have him serve lunch at this point because... Alright, first of all, where did Amaya go? Amaya's reading a book. I need you to get this place cleaned up. There goes the little girl. She's going to watch TV. What is she doing? Yep, she's watching TV. I'm going to have her join these guys so they can get to know her, so they can make some friends their own age. Oh, uh -huh, he knows he likes games now. Very nice, very nice. Once um, the toddler age is up, we can get rid of some of these toys. Of course, they might have another baby. So anyway, the kids are downstairs. I'm going to have him clean up a little bit. Uh, what does she want to do? She wants to do ACR stuff. Okay. Unfortunately, you're very hungry, so I'm going to change the uh, the serving size to five now, as we have a guest in the house. Oh. Uh. Maya, what are you doing? Oh, she's dancing. Okay, I'm going to let her just dance and do her own thing. Uh, she is into nature. As you can see, I've got these default replacements over here, so I'll, I'll get that sorted eventually. Oh, wait a second. You need to tend this tree. Because you're a nature sim. You should be doing that anyway. Do you, do you even have a garden? I don't think she has a garden, you guys. So I'm going to give her a garden here. So I'm going to make it Fertilize many. We don't have any compost right now, so she's going to use the bags. Uh, plant many. There we go. Oh, that was fast. These guys aren't hungry yet, so... I'll just have him put the leftovers away. They seem to be enjoying themselves. Uh. Oh, she's probably hungry, you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make selectable so she can go up and have something to eat. Upstairs. Up you go. I think my dog has to go outside. <laughs> Hi, Jean. How are you? I think I'm at... Oh, I'm, I'm ready for my first break. Okay, first of all, uh, I'm going to have to check at, at my settings because I'm pretty sure I turned the ads off again. But anyway... 
I'm going to do my little break. And I'm going to be taking my dog out very quickly, so I might not be back right away. So anyway, do not watch these ads, please. You should get up and stretch your legs. And I shall be all right back. All right, Boo Boo, let's go outside. I'm back. I just have to get my tea. My goodness, my dog was fucking around outside like you would not believe. He loves the snow and the slush. So we got 20 centimeters last night. Hold on, let me just.
put this take the screen off we got 20 centimeters last night and right after it dumped a bunch of snow it immediately turned into rain and we got a bunch of rain so now most of the snow has been melted so it's just a big slushy mess we've got like uh flooding in the parking lot um so our first big storm of of the season like this is not just of the year it's the first one of the year but it's the first one of the seasons we didn't we have not had a big snowfall at all so far this winter so everybody was super excited like oh we're gonna finally get some snow we could build a snowman and do snow angels and tobogganing and cross-country skiing and all this other stuff nope mm -mm. it most of it just washed away with the rain anyway all right So while she, while their little guest is um, doing that, he needs to get cleaned up a little bit. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. Not sure what we're gonna do with this family today. Maybe we should go out to the park or something and take the dogs. Yeah, I think we should t go to the park. I forget which park uh, has like all the stuff for kids. I would have to go and check out each of the places so I don't send them to the wrong park. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to redo the bedroom because I lost all I lost all that shit. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Oh my god! The joys of playing The Sims, right? All right, you stop, 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 stop. All right, we're going to move this over a little bit. This is going to be purple. We're going to move this over here. And these are on OMSPs. So I'm just going to move the OMSPs over just a little. Because we're going to move this over a little. Oh. Hold on. Move these over just one more time. There we go. Easy peasy, right? <laughs> After struggling with it for like forever, I say it's easy peasy. Uh, we can put the toy box here. Is they still use the toy box? I suppose I could squeeze in a desk here. Like I guess I could get rid of this desk and put in two desks for the boys. I kind of like this setup though. But that then we could keep that we could keep this set up here. So maybe we should get rid of this. We can still keep the 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 chair though, looking like that. All right. I think I was going to put this. I might have to turn the grid off for this one. I, can I grab it? It's not going to let me grab this, is it? Yeah, I'm going to have to just do that for the time being. I'm going to try to fit this in. Is that too close to it? I don't think it is. Let me just take the grid off. He should be able to squeeze in there. Pretty sure I've had nightstands under under those beds before, and it was fine. Yeah, he should be able to get in there. Can I move it over just a tiny bit more? Nope, that's it. Ooh. Purple. We're going to keep this blue because he likes blue. So yeah, we're gonna, before I put like a desk over here, but we're just gonna do two desks. Um, we'll probably put like one here and one here, side by side. Cause I'm very unimaginative that way. 
we're just gonna do ikea desks there you see how nicely that just fit in there it was perfect it was like made for it or something all right I think it has to be here and it has to slide in. Let's just see if it slides in. Oh, that did not slide in, you guys. Hold on. Oh, because I put. Oh, hold on, hold on. Do I put it here? Oh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> my god hold on so are we gonna keep it this this color green because I, I think i picked this color to go with the green that in this but i'm thinking maybe we should go more of a neutral thing because they both like blue and purple i was i was trying to hmm. anyway let's not get ahead of myself let's not get ahead of our skis as the saying goes we need to get this thing on the desk we need Oh, I must pee. Come on. Come on. Little fucker. Okay, this is how it's going to be, huh? There we go. All right, I'm going to save right fucking now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing pretty good, but the EA, the EA gods are frowning upon me right now. <laughs> oh, God, it happens. It happens to all of us. Sometimes things just work really well, and other times... Yeah, it cra the game crashed when I first started streaming. And I'd done a bunch of stuff to the house before I started the stream, so I didn't have to do it on the stream. Like, I didn't have to waste time like I'm doing now. Because I really struggle doing a four-day rotation within four hours. Because <laughs> I fuck around a lot. Oh, gosh. Anyway. <laughs> That's how I'm built. I don't know what to say. <laughs> it doesn't help that I have ADD. That's probably the main cause of it. Okay, I think we're actually done. Because I, I, I hit the apply changes and that little window didn't come up asking if I'm sure. I want to keep those changes. I think it only does that when you when you change the screen size or you do something major. Anyway, those are their two desks now. So, um, I don't th I don't like. I'm not in love with this wallpaper. I know I chose this before, but let's just see what else we have. Cause I kind of want it to coordinate with this green, and I feel like this one's too dark. Maybe this one? Ooh, that's, okay, that's nicer, I feel. It's brighter. I kind of like the, okay, there's this one too. Okay, that's for bathrooms. Uh, do that one. Okay, that one has green at the top. Okay, I actually like that one. That one's good, I like that. I, I approve of this one. Uh, I feel like, I don't know, what should we do with the flooring? Because this is just plain old linoleum that I always choose for, that's my go-to. Okay, we can't use that. We could use gray. Because there's gray metal on, on the thing. There's like gray metal, so that would go. And there's black in the carpet. Yeah. A grayish kind of floor that looks kind of cool so we can actually keep these uh this chest table now i still need to redo this um this floor and i feel like we should go with like this new tile i'm pretty sure that lord crumps did this one yeah lord crumps did this and i think it's from sims 4 so i feel i feel like we're gonna use some of this for the bathroom you know to brighten it up a little bit down here this looks cheerful. Let's do, let's do that one for the bathroom. Then we're going to do like yellow yellow um, cabinet there for the kitchen. I mean for the sink and for the we're going to do a yellow shower curtain. But um, what are we going to do with this area? I 
I know that Lord Crumbs did a bunch of uh, conversions. I don't know if it's in a collection file or not. Is it in a collection file? I don't know. Oh, this is one of them. This one right here. I also do that. We did this one. Ooh. I'm gonna go with this. So this is the one I chose last time. It's still wide on the other side. That's what I love about the Honeywell doors. Um, there we go. So yeah, they're still white on the other side. So we're gonna go with yellow. Like a, a yellowish color here. Where is the... So that's the only yellow they have. So there's only really two yellows in here. There's this one. Okay, that's actually nice. But I was gonna make the you know what? I'm gonna keep the I'm gonna keep the um the sink and the bathtub white. I'm just gonna do this. That's a little too yellow. I kind of like this yellow because it's like it's like a wheat or a mustard yellow, which I like. I just do that. One. So I'm gonna keep those white. I just wanted to add a little color in here. That's all. I am going to do a shower curtain. There we go. Lots of yellow in here. Now I just need some lights. And you guys know what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to use the pool lights or the Ditta lights. So they can see what they're doing in there. Oh, okay, hold on. There we go. All right. So now we're going to get rid of these stupid paper lanterns. Well, they're not stupid, but... Oh! No! There we go. <laughs> this, this is going to be Fiona's room. We're not working on that, though. I've already wasted enough time with this, these two little fuckers. <laughs> but anyway, I'm very happy with the having just a little bit of green to, to bring out the green in the carpet and, and the green here. So I kind of I kind of like that. It's pretty nice. Uh, but I don't really like this particular chess table, so hold on. Um, also, this floor, I think this floor down here is by, that's Honeywell. Where's the one by, uh, that's Bespoke. That's Lord Crumps. And he, I think he did it, this is all from, uh, supposed to coordinate with the, with this, this panel right here. So I think we'll do that. We definitely need some lights in here. So let's go back to the uh, collection folder for Tiny Living. So there's a lot of great shit in there. I really like this collection folder. So we're going to keep the chess table. But we're going to put like a little... Like one of these tables here, I think. So I can put the ant farm. We're going to put the ant farm there. I feel like this should be lighter. So I don't want it ne necessarily... There we go. I don't want everything to be matchy-matchy. I hate that shit. Oh, here's all those pink colors I downloaded, Nemertis. Remember you told me about these extra colors? 
<laughs> They're so much fun. Right, that's his default. Oh, I kind of like that one. We're going to go with that one, I think. There's black. I could go with black. I feel like there should be a little bit of color, like a little bit of turquoise there. All right. We have to have an ant farm, guys. They, he had an ant farm in his room earlier, so I have a uh, default replacements for the ant farm, as you can see. There's that. I don't know if I want this all this dark brown, though. I do want something by Lord Crumps, though. Oh, that te that brings out the blue in this table. Did you see that? That's kind of nice. That's a little too dark. Okay, that's different. I kind of like this one, though. Because it has blue in it, you know? And the blue brings out the blue, the, the, the blue uh, that's in this table. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. All right, so now let's go back to the folder. We're going to use the light, the, the pendant light, to bring some light in here. Now that's one of the potties. We're going to bring this potty upstairs. I don't need it down here anymore. See, that, that looks a little nicer. Plus, we're going to put the, the carpet that came with this. Actually, we'll put this one in here in the girls room what was the other painting that I was that I used from this collection is it that one no it was that one but it was uh there we go very nice that's a dining chair can you actually use this these chairs for the for the, uh, the chess table? I don't know if we can. Well, there's only one way to find out, right? I'm not sure that they're going to be able to sit down at that table. Or we're going to test it. We're not going to do... Oh. Blue. Okay, that's nice. I like that. That's the original color, which I can't stand. So I might just keep it this this light brown color. Or I might go with that. It kind of brings out the brown that's in the paper, in the wallpaper. I don't think these lights are, yeah, I don't think I can recolor the lights. So yeah, I like this. Now where's the carpet? It's probably staring right at me. Here it is. I don't know, should I have the carpet closer to the chess table? There we go. That looks nicer. So you go into this little alcove area and you've got this little ant farm and you've got the doors. I might actually change the color of the outside of these doors. I kind of want an off-white color. No, I don't like that. I hate it when I have too many choices because I just, I can't make up my mind.
It's just, I've got too many choices here. <laughs> well, that's not bad. What color is that? Hold on. Medium brown. Well, if I'm just going to go with white, I might as well just read. Oh, hold on. Should we try to go with the, oh, that's actually the same blue that's in here. Should we try to go with blue? That's pretty ballsy. What color is that? Is that Prussian blue? I don't think it's Prussian blue. What color is this? Indigo. Well, it's different. It's definitely different. Let's tr let's try indigo. We're going to try indigo. That's indigo. We're going to we're going to exist out of our comfort zone. I'm going to force myself to do things that I don't normally do. Okay, so the blue the blue doors are taking the blue out from the wallpaper. And also, there's a little bit of blue in, in this furniture from the Tiny Living Collection. Yeah, I like it. Ooh. Ooh, that's a little bit too much. Yeah, I like that. I like it better than the last one I did. Okay, so there's lots of lights in this room. You can't tell because it's super dark. But anyway, that one looks good. I like that. Oh, and I have to redo the li this this place because it got fucked up <laughs> from the crash. So now I have to put hampers in all of the rooms because I'm going to get rid of the laundry begon box like an idiot. I'm trying to grab the OMSP that the this laundry's on. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard. And I was in the, I was actually, just before I put the laundry hamper between these two things, my game crashed. That's, that's, that's when the crash happened. So I hope it doesn't happen again. If it does, I'm going to know that it's an actual object, one of these objects causing the problem. All right. All right, let's, um, where's the laundry hampers again? I think they're under plumbing. I don't know why I put them there, but I just did. I want the, I want this laundry sorter. I wish it came in different colors. Anyway, I've got a uh, detergent that's on display. I've got this. I'm just going to put this. Actually, no, I can't put it there. I'll just put it there. Anyway, I could put shelves up here and put shit there. So that that's a little bit better. Let me just save this really quick before it crashes. <laughs> yes, remember to save. <laughs> put the toddler in and invite kids if if uh, if it's aging. Yes, she is aging. At the very last day, she's going to be aging up. So it's very rare that I get to have a party and age somebody up. I was able to age uh, somebody up last time last week sometime I was able to actually get a birthday in I forget who it was oh my god mm, that tea tastes so good um okay so she's working on the garden she should probably not be in her nighty so I think that we should uh casual all sims on the lot should be casual okay so I really like how that that really took me out of my comfort zone. I'm not going to lie. Making the doors blue and stuff like that's just, I would, I would have never thought to do that, but I have to force myself to do these things. So that's the boys room now. I suppose I could give them different chairs. They don't have to have matching chairs. That'll be Fiona's room. I'm not going to do much to this, this place. 
I think I'm just going to leave that as is. So we've got a gate over here. Uh, this gate here. Household only. I think this one is already household only. That one's household only too. Now this is my default replacement for the love tub. There's no hearts. Like normally there'd be hearts uh, floating up. And I got rid of the hearts. You have a choice between hearts and no hearts. I just didn't want the hearts just coming off of it all the time. It just looks silly to me. But anyway, this is, uh, it has to be placed on the quarter tile placement because of way, because it will clip into the walls if you do have walls. But that's, I'm very pleased with this. The way it turned out, because I, that's, I don't like normally using that tub. Just for that reason. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and keep this the same. I will put this back though. Inside. I like to keep the dollhouse just a little bit away, like that. I'll put that there. Oh no, okay, she, I already got her potty. We'll get rid of that one. So yeah, we're gonna make this his man cave and this will be her, uh, the she cave. So the man cave, she cave. <laughs> and I think eventually we're gonna get a bigger table and oh, oh wait, no, that's fine, that's fine. I think I'm gonna swap that out. Put that over there. Put this here. Um, I need to put more of these, I feel. So I'm going to put one in the middle. Make sure it's actually facing this way. One here. Uh, I'm going to put one there. Can I actually put one here? I don't know if I can. I think I can. Let's, let's just go for it. Should I have it, should it be overlapping a little bit? Not sure how that works. Well, well we're going to test it. We're going to try. So there's a little extra space here next to the sink. Also, this allows you to use the coffee maker and still put bowls and plates in front of it too. That's why I put them there. All right, I don't really want to do anything to this area because it's the front entryway. So I'm just going to put, I don't even know why, I don't actually need this anymore because I actually have the air conditioning units. This is actually a waste. We'll put it right about there maybe. Circulate the air a little bit in the house. All right, let's play this game. Dad's uh, chilling out. I feel like go ahead and play on, on the playground. All right, Lisa Gilbert is, I think she has to pee. Yeah, she's peeing. I'm definitely gonna throw a party. I forgot, I don't know if I got that party mod though that lets you have uh, that Basically, uh, my sims don't age up till midnight anyway, so it's like a non, it's a not really, okay, who the fuck are you? Hold on, who is this? Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're one of the teenagers from Blue Water Village. Okay, that is a nice hairstyle, and he looks very handsome. So he's going to be probably part of the next university round. Anyway. Um, I don't know why he's on my porch. Anyway, that's the property. I'm gonna have to do something about these flowers. <laughs> All right, so she's just basically doing her thing. All right, you get out there with your brother, please. Where's the little girl? Uh, you invite her to join you. Asked to join. There you go. All right, off you go, little girl. I'm just going to keep an eye on her and make sure she's actually doing her thing. Oh, here they come. Oh, hold on. Oh, he's in his pajamas. I was like, who's that? <laughs> I, for 
forgot I put him in pig pajamas. <laughs> All Sims on lot. There you go. I still have to get purple clothes for him again. I'm so paranoid I'm going to actually save my game again. <laughs> Okay, he's actually getting tired. What the fuck? Well, it is four o'clock in the afternoon, but still. She's actually getting kind of stinky. What's going on with the little girl downstairs? She's just she's just playing so okay, let's look at her oh, she's gotta pee. Oh, and she's tired. Well, she can sleep in a dog bed. Uh, let's take, actually, we should have kept that one potty downstairs. I forgot that's why we had the potty down there, was for, was for her and Harry. So let's put the potty back in here, so she can take herself. And then I'm going to have her crawl into one of the beds. No, I just saved, but thanks for asking. No. No, just go to the potty yourself. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you actually plant everything? Oh, she did. Everything's planted. Okay, good for you. All right. Go have a shower. I suppose now that the mother's down here, she could uh, put her to bed, like, properly. So she doesn't have to be in the dog bed. <laughs> oh, my God. Stay there. You're fine. Did you not, did you not pee before? She only peed a little tiny bit. Oh, God. All right, you. Clean this place up, please. Dispose. All right, Dad, what are you doing? I'm pretty sure, don't you need to work on something for, oh, you do, you need to work on logic. Yeah, he needs one more logic point. So you get downstairs and, yeah, practice some chess there. You've got enough music playing in. Like, first of all, his fun was way down, so it's up again. All right, so the kids should probably take a nap, I'm thinking, before dinner. So they need to say goodbye to their friend. So say goodbye. <laughs> Aw, that was nice. Okay. Oh, the newspaper's here. Wait a second. How did the newspaper boy get through these gates? Mm -mm. Uh, why don't you bring that in? And your brother, you and your brother have to take a bit of a nap before dinner. So, Shrek, you stay on top. And you're going to be on the bottom. Oh, dad's, dad looks worried. Dad's not making enough money and he looks worried. Oh my goodness, I had to sneeze a couple times. <laughs> I, I felt a sneeze coming on, so I muted myself. <laughs> I think it's the chai tea. Every time I pull a bag out of the box, I sneeze, and then sometimes while I'm drinking it, I sneeze again. So there's something in there making me sneeze, but it still tastes good. I'm not going to stop drinking it just because it occasionally makes me sneeze. Yeah, he's worried about, aw, poor guy. Not making enough money. Um, He wants Larkin to get promoted. He wants to gain a logic skill. Po well, I'm trying to work on He wants to talk to Waylon. The fuck? I didn't even know you knew him. He's in a different town. Have a party. Oh, I'm going to log that in because we are going to have a party. Meet somebody new. Earn some money. Hold on. Soak in the hot tub. Go to a community lot. Buy some new clothes. Have a pillow fight. See rain. Perform music for tips. Okay, that's not... There's nothing here that's really extraordinary. I'm just going to lock the hot tub thing in. <laughs> What does Shrek want to do? See rain. Gain a skill point. Talk. Be friends with Lisa. Okay, that's actually... Okay, we're going to lock that one in. He wants to be friends with Lisa. Oops, they, the boys might be fighting over Lisa Gilbert, guys. <laughs> Win a game against Rebecca. Wait a second, who the fuck is Rebecca? Oh, Rebecca DeBoer. Okay, I'm going to actually lock that in. 
he can actually um, invite her over and maybe they can play chess or something. Actually, I'm going to unlock this. Uh, we're going to do, he wants to reach logic. All right. You. Practice. I know that you're worried about money and all that stuff. You're fine. Oh, he can't use it. Okay, so the chairs are not usable at the chess table. Got it, got it. All right, hold on. All right, what chairs are usable? Oh, there we go. Go, sit. There we go. You only learn by doing, right? Uh, what does she, does she want to kiss him? Oh, she wants to charm him with ACR. Okay. Um, all right, the boys just came downstairs. I think she should probably make dinner for everybody. It's almost 6 p.m. So I'm going to have her serve dinner. Oh, before she does that, hold on. You need to clear this. Clear, clear, clear. And she can't clear this even though it's bad. You see this? I don't have the option to clear this. So the, the, the food serving thing is not working very well right now. Sometimes I can clear bad food and sometimes I can't. It's really weird. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I do have a food serving mod though. So I might have to switch around the load order a little bit. I feel like this room could really use some colorful tile. I'm gonna use some of the Lord Crump tile that he recently did that I used in the downstairs area. This stuff, you know, there's gotta be something that we could use. Ooh, that adds a splash of color. My goodness. Okay, I think I'm probably going to go with that one. That's a little too safe. I really love the color green. So I think I'm going to go with this one. Wow. That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is the front entryway. Maybe we could use the coordinating tile that goes with this package. Maybe do that. I don't know. Maybe not. Because this door is right here, so it doesn't really make sense. I guess we could do this. Oh, oh, here we go. Yeah, that coordinates with this stuff over here. It's part of the same package. And the, the door frame is yellow, so it all kinds of vibes together. And I might get rid of this linoleum. I might get rid of this linoleum to, like, get something that sort of, I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't want to make the whole thing that color. You know, I don't like matchy-matchy. Woo! Hold on. Who did this one? Is this Lord Crumbs? That's Honeywell. This is all Honeywell shit. But that, that really, that's beautiful. That's fair. That really pops. Yeah, we're going to do that. So we're going to keep the wall this this orange color because she likes orange. And we're going to make the bedroom turquoise because he's into turquoise. Is, is dad sleeping? Is dad sleeping? No, dad's not sleeping. Who, who's in the bed? Or is it nobody's in the bed? Oh, little boy doesn't know where his bed is. He doesn't know where his bed is because he used to sleep in a crib, you guys. We have to reset him. All right. I told him to sleep in this bed. He's like, no, I'm going to go sleep in dad's bed. So I need you to come down here. All right. So we're going to go to adjust, bed ownership, clear all, sleep. All right. He's, oh, he can't get in there because of the stupid thing. So it is an issue. I've actually had nightstands before underneath the bed, like next to the bed, and it wasn't an issue. Okay, so now it's an issue. I don't think 
yeah, I'm just going to have to do this. If I do this, it, will it be better? Or am I just going to have to get rid of this? I, I think I'm going to have to get rid of this. Yeah, I'm just going to have to get rid of it. It's fine. Uh, let's see if I could put like a little tiny table though there. Right next to it. Let's get like a little, because I've actually done that before, but I guess it depends on the size of the table, if that makes sense. If that move objects or cortex or whatever. Place the nightstands without the cheat. This one should work. See, because I placed I placed the beds without um with the quarter tile cheat though. So that's why I thought I had to do it with that. Alright. Alright, get into bed. Can you not get in there? Is it too is it not far over enough? I might have to use different bunk beds. Can you not get in there? Nope. Nope. All right, so some of the bunk beds can work with nightstands and some can't. I guess that's I guess that's the only thing. This one apparently this one doesn't like nightstands. I do have six different ones, so I'm just going to have to find. This one is from the Family Fun collection or stuff pack, I should say. This is like the actually the surfer bed that's supposed to go in the surfer bedroom. All right. Go, go. There we go. I guess the bedroom won't work this way. Then I don't know. I don't use them. So, uh, well, so, some of the bunk beds do allow it. I guess this one just doesn't. I don't know. I, I don't know. But when I, I actually use the quarter tile placement to place the upper one as well as the bottom one. Because if I don't use quarter tile, it, it doesn't work. So looks like dad's going with that. What's mom doing upstairs? She's actually eating her food that she made. All right, I don't want the kids to, to sleep too much. After all that, I'm going to wake the kid. So this, so Shrek got a little bit of sleep. He got about that much sleep. So he's going to come upstairs and eat. And then we're going to put him back to bed because it's 737. But at least he, he reset his bed. That's good. Oh, oh, what's going on? What's going on with Fiona? You can get out. Come on now. You have to pee. Go pee. Like right now. You're going to have an accident like any second. Plus your mom has to give you a bit of a bath. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, so I'm actually going to have mom take her to the potty chair. Okay, was that, was that the dad? I can't tell who did that. Dad's going to go to bed late. He needs to work on his logic. All right, little girl is working on that. Wow, you got that. Aww. So cute. I have to take a picture. I have to take a picture. There's Shrek. They're talking about baby. Are you going to have another baby, Mom? Oh, I don't know, dear. It's up to your father. <laughs> I really love this floor. It really pops, you know? I like it. And I like the coordinating tile with it. You guys have to check out that Lord Crumbs uh, thing. Go to his website. Oh, he redid his website, by the way. He has been working on that website. It looks gorgeous. Very nice. All right, there's, there's, um, oh, what's little girl doing? Little girl wants to go. She wants to eat from the dog bowl that's downstairs. <laughs> All right, you put her in the chair, please. Thank you. I think your daughter's a little hungry. Oh my god, eat your food. Alright, you. 
Did Fiona some uh, mac and cheese? We're gonna have mac and cheese for dinner. Oh, she's so cute. She looks a lot like her brother, so I think that they definitely are looking at after their mom, not their dad. Because she's got the same eyes as her brother. And I think Fiona has those eyes. Oh my god, this is just too adorable that the brothers are just sort of hanging out, getting to know each other. Alright, you. Clear the table. I'll just clean that one up. I think I'm going to have her give a Fiona a bath. Afterwards, she's not too stinky, but she's due for a bath. Well, let her finish. Just to finish. Oh, she's done. Okay, that's good. All right, you. Uh, you're going to go straight. Actually, you're going to get ready for bed. In your brand new bathroom. And then you're going to go to bed. And your brother needs to work on his cleaning skills. So I'm going to have him clean up. Because he just became a child. There's Larkin. He actually is more tired. But he needs that cleaning, cleaning skill. Under his belt. Going to start chipping away at that. So he's ready for college. I should do like a test of all the bunk beds. Because I think I have six sets. And I had to get rid of one of them because it was on it was on a two tile thing. And it kept throwing errors. And, you're the, and Numerites was the one that noticed it was on a two tile instead of a three tile like it's supposed to be. Which is too bad because I like the mom bunk bed set. It coordinates with all the other mom furniture from Ikea. Are you are you done? It looks like you're done. You know what? You're so tired, I don't think that you can properly... Who, who, who just did that? I just heard somebody go, woo, woo. Was that... Hold on. Is that two cars in one? What is happening here? Looks like there's a car on top of a car. The heck? There we go. Anywho, that was kind of weird. Oh. Yeah, okay, that's what it was. I thought it was because it was on a two tile. It was only two tiles, which might might not have helped at all. Alright, so I'm just going to have Dad. Has Dad already gained a skill point? He has, so he can actually stop playing this. Okay, he still wants uh, Larkin to get promoted. Wants to win a gaming competition, a dance competition. Reach creativity level 6. Well, you don't technically need to reach creativity level 6 for your, your, for your job. You don't have to work on mechanical. You don't have to work on clean. So you're actually set for in terms of the actual job promotion. Okay, music and dance is fine. Okay, so I'm going to have him come upstairs and eat some food. And then he can clean up. So get leftovers. Where's mom? Oh, mom's giving her a bath. Oh, she, has she done with the bath? Is she done with the bath? She is. She's squeaky clean. And she's also green across the board. So what does she need to work on? She doesn't have to work on anything. She's got two of everything. So we did re a really good job. She's got three mechanical. So I'm just going to have her go ahead and just put her here. And she can work on the, like, play with the dollhouse and toys, things like that. Put Fiona here. I have her go... Use the bathroom. Clean this up. Oh, this is broken. Hold up. Hold up. Which one of you has a good mechanical skill? Well, it's certainly not you. It's 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 Harry. Um, you're going to repair this before you go to bed. So she's going to have... Yeah, she's just going to play with toys. Aww. 
and what we're going to do is we're going to put a play mat down here so she can put herself to bed when she's tired. I don't know if you can actually put... Wait, let's go ahead and put the play mat here. It, should, it shouldn't get in anybody's way. Oh, hello. Oh, who the fuck are you? Oh, it's Thomas. He's a, he's a werewolf right now. <laughs> it always gets me every time. Yeah, we're going to be playing him next week. Alice Witt and uh, Thomas Jones. That's, of course, the main family in this one. So after she does that, we are going to put her to bed. Okay, so Monday we're going to have the birthday party for Fiona. And it will be Harry's first day of school. I'm pretty sure that Shrek has an A+. Plus. Yeah, it's got to be a plus. He's got quite the skills here. I don't think Harry has this. Okay, he's missing out on charisma and logic. So we never got around to charisma and logic before he aged up. We can work on that now. Like maybe tomorrow. Usually you work, you get charisma from the rabbit head. Or learning a nursery rhyme. So it looks like we didn't get around to either of those. But he can do chess with his dad. It sh he shouldn't have an issue cleaning that up. Because, I mean, fixing that. Because he's got a pretty high mechanical skill. It's like six. So he should be able to fix a, a leaky shower. Oh my god, dude. Just relax. Dude, what are you doing? Oh. Oh, I told you to clean up right. Okay, never mind. I was about to yell at him. <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> and then you can go to bed. He's super duper tired. I really love that tile. Oh, what's that? Oh, Roscoe has returned from work. Oh, he earned 600... Fuck off! 636 a shift is what Roscoe is earning. What the hell? Oh, he's a scene iPad level 3. That's... Perfect. He needs to learn to come here and roll over before he gets promoted again. Um... Well, actually, Ro he's a rescue pet level 4, Roscoe. It's Larkin who is a CNI pet level 3. She's the one that has to learn to come here and roll over. He, uh, Roscoe's fine. He doesn't have to learn anything. All right, you go to bed. Before we do that, though, we're going to save, just in case putting it on a high speed crashes my game. <laughs> oh, you got to love the Sims to keep putting up with some of the stuff you have to deal with. It's like that with a lot of games, though. All right, it's two in the morning. Nobody's used the pool yet. The little, little girl's just, you know, hanging out. Living her best life. There she goes. Looks like she's putting herself to sleep. It's almost 4 a.m. I'm going to let everybody just sleep in and wake up naturally. These two are still in bed. So we'll work on Larkin because he, he actually wants Larkin to get promoted. All right, it's actually 6 a.m. Oh, she's about to go to work. All right, uh, she needs a bath. I just realized. But Roscoe doesn't, so I don't know. Maybe she rolls around in the flower beds? I'm not sure. Oh, Harry just woke up, wants to play fetch with her. Okay, well, 
Harry. What the heck? Oh, he's playing. Oh, he's playing. Okay. I was like, what is that object he's holding? I'm so glad they can go under the stairs. All right, what are you doing? You're putting away her toys? Okay, that's a little weird. What sign are you? What sign are you? You're a Virgo. Okay, that, that does not surprise me one bit. <laughs> They're very well organized. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, she's actually hungry. I'm going to have Shrek get a bottle for his sister. Because now, now that I have that mod, I could do that. Oh, she's not up. She needs to get up for it to show up on the fridge. Get up. We have to actually put the serving size back to four. I only put that to five because there, there was a guest here. All right, you can go get a bottle for your sister now. Get a bottle for Fiona. Fiona, get your butt over here. Look at that. I can't wait to see what she's going to look like as a little girl. She's probably going to be just as pretty as she is now. All right. All right, Larkin, off to work you go. Why is he... Why is he doing that? Oh, he doesn't bring the bottle to her. She has to go to the bottle. Got it. That's fine. That's fair. Drink. You get some cereal. All right. What's Harry doing? <laughs> Harry technically isn't that hungry, but he does have to get cleaned up. No, you don't have to clean it. You just have to have a shower. And then you can have a cereal. All right, sweetie, you need to actually crawl over to the... There we go. Don't let Roscoe distract you. Well, it's very nice to ha be able to have... Uh... Oh, they're going to woohoo, guys. All right, we're just going to... I don't know. Shoot, they might actually uh, have another kid. Now that I took them off birth control. Who knows? I'm just going to give them some privacy there. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, what's Shrek doing? Wants to bake. Isn't that cute? He wants to bake. Well, don't walk away from it this time, buddy. Pretty sure he's going to be a scientist. Okay, do you see that? You see what's going on here? He's just like to totally forgot. He's got food in here. Okay, so this is the second time you burned him up, dude. And you're not even hungry, so I'm not even sure why you felt the need to cook that. Okay, I want you to actually get rid of that. Can you can you get rid of that? I don't want you eating that. Uh, okay, you're just going to put it away. Apparently, I can't throw it out. Uh, okay, I'm not sure if she's pregnant or not, so I'm just going to check really quick. Nope. No pregnancies on the lot. Dag dag. Alright, what are we going to do with Henry today? Henry's actually hungry. Have way. Leftovers. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make dad have the muffin. <laughs> Leave the good leftovers for mom. All right, you. What are we going to do with you today? You've studied fire safety. We need to work on charisma and logic. So you're going to go downstairs and do the logic thing. And your brother doesn't technically have to do anything. Hold on. 
I'm going to assume that we had him study fire. No, he never learned fire safety. Oh my god. All right, you go off and learn fire safety. I have been remiss in my duties. All right, I think we have to do some gardening. Looks like, maybe. I had a problem like this with a double bed once it showed only one footprint, the green square, even though it was a double bed. Oh, I have to get ready for work now. Enjoy the rest. Of oh, thank you, Carrie. Have fun at work or try to. <laughs> I know it's hard. I do know you like your job and you like the, the kids and the parents, but it's still a job, right? You still have to deal with coworkers and all the other fun things. <laughs> all right. Okay, hold on. That's probably a crank call, but I'm going to have her get it anyway. So go ahead and answer that. Yeah, it's a crank call. A fan. I can't do this because she if she loses her job she can't get another one. Because she's an elder. Alright, at least the maid's here for a fucking change. Um the first day is always like weird. The nannies show up at weird times and the maid either doesn't show up at all or they show up at weird times. So story progression really does a number on schedules in general. I'm going to do the same thing with gardeners as well. All right, so she's worked on, wait a second, she hasn't done her gardening yet, or has she? No, she hasn't done gardening. <laughs> oh, who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Quick, run outside. Who's that? Jimmy Briggs. Okay, he's from the downtown Mesa Flats. I want you to go outside right now and greet Jimmy Briggs. I'm not sure if you guys are friends with him yet or not. Oh, Roscoe, what are you barking at? The boss can eat a lot. All right. Uh, let's see here. Why don't you just chat with him? Oh. Uh -huh. My dog yes, died. Uh -huh. <laughs> My dog died too. They actually, they he had a cat that died. I believe one of his cats died. And two of his dogs died. So that's probably what they're talking about. <laughs> I'm going to assume that's what they're doing. Oh, oh, they're talking about, oh, so my dad's a police officer, which he is. <laughs> wow, that's so cool. Your dad's a cop. <laughs> oh, now they're talking about a jewel thief. <laughs> I can't wait to age up. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they're really getting along with each other. Hold on, hold on. So far, so good. All right, who does he have a shitty relationship with? Okay, okay, Dad needs to get his head out of his arse because he's really dropping the ball with his kids. His with his with Fiona, he's got thirty three over twenty one. With uh, his stepson, it's nineteen over nineteen. Uh, and with Harry, his namesake, it's minus six over minus eight. That's pathetic. That is so fucking pathetic. He's got a better relationship with Roscoe, the dog. So he is really dropping the ball with his kids. He's got to spend more time with his kids. That's, that's kind of ridiculous. What is he doing right now? He's playing guitar. He could be interacting with his children. Oh my god. Come over here, please. Snuggle. Uh, family kiss. What else? What does she need? She's actually doing pretty good. 
So he can definitely spend time with her. Uh, he can tickle and play peekaboo. All right, you get off of there. All right, little girl, stop playing. Stop playing. I'm going to actually move this toy. Did you get the additional recipes for the toy oven? Oh! Shit. I don't think I did. Yeah, I don't think I did. Wait, let me write this down. Hold on. Hold the phone. Extra recipes. I remember looking at it, but looking at it doesn't mean I did it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's going on with Harry? Harry, what are you doing right now? You're playing chess? All right, Shrek. What else are we going to do with you today? You're into science, and you haven't done any science-related shit at all. So I suppose we should get a telescope for you? But for the time being, you're going to have to, like, look at the ants. And watch the weather channel until you're able to read the newspaper. And then from there, we'll just sort of play it by ear. Um, I don't think he, yeah, he can't use the robot workbench. Oh, also, wait a second. I believe I have a mod that makes chess science enthusiasm. I could be wrong about that. Anyway, come downstairs. Observe the ants just to get you started. Easy plan. Um... What happened to the newspaper today? Oh, it's there because the, okay, the newspaper boy is being a twat. Sometimes he puts it on the front porch, sometimes he doesn't. And there's plenty of room on this front porch, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that, but anyway. Looks like the maid is still here. Uh, where, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, he's putting the toys away again. Oh, he's playing peekaboo. Go downstairs, please. All right, looks like Jimmy and Harry are going to play. Observe ants. Oh, uh -huh. I'm not what sure where, where... What is the maid doing? What are you doing? I'm confused as to why she was she went that way. Oh, boo -boo. Oh. oh, hold on. Why is there an incoming ad break? Okay, now I'm pissed off. I turn, I'm pretty sure I turn, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to stop. I'm going to go to my OBS. Not my OBS. I'm going to go to my stream manager. Hold on. Just bear with me. I'm, I'm so mad at Twitch right now. Um, let's open this. Open Twitch. Ooh. All right. Ooh. <laughs> All right, that was, <laughs> I had to mute the tab because I just opened my, my thing. Hold on. Where is my creator dashboard? There it is. If you guys get ads, please let me know. Uh, turn, yeah, ads are turned off. You guys should not be getting ads. Thank you. 
It's asking me a bunch of questions. Just a sec. <laughs> Hold on, I'm still working on stuff. <laughs> what is my current age? Oh, God. I have to click 55 and over now. <laughs> I'm officially old. That was the last. That's that's the last choice I have. 55 and over and that, that's it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> At least I'm laughing about it. Anyway, let's get back to here. So the ads are turned off. The stream display ads uh, enable stream display ads on my channel. Treat pre-roll ads. No. Ads manager. No. Enable. De wait. Disable pre-roll ads when I run ads. Enable dashboard notifications being alerted when pre-roll ads are enabled or disabled. Yeah, I don't understand. Fuck. Anyway. So I don't know if that's going to update for this stream or not. You guys might actually see ads for the rest of the time. All right, hold on. Ah. <sighs> So I did forget to check one box. So I had it turned off, but I, st I still allowed. There's two boxes you have to check to get rid of ads, and I didn't check the second box. So that might be why some of you are getting ads. I don't think my hotkeys are working. Oh, there we go. I was going to say. So... You can only get somebody to interact with ants so much. After that, you're just going to have to plop them in front of a TV and have them watch the weather channel until they can read a newspaper. Here we go. Uh, are they not going to play chess anymore? Or, or no, I guess one of them finished the round. One of them won, it looks like. Oh, he has two logic points, you guys. Yeah, okay, okay. All right, I have to make sure he's actually watching the weather channel, so just a sec. Change to the weather station. There you go. Oh, they don't, okay, so he doesn't want to play with them, I guess. I don't know. All right, then you're just going to have to fuck off then. <laughs> that was nice meeting you. <laughs> and you can work on your charisma. Oh. I don't think he can work on Can he not work on his charisma? Not with that mirror, he can't. Can you do it with this mirror? No. So kids can't work on their... Okay, okay. I thought they could work on charisma. Clean. Fill bowl. I don't think the maid does that. I don't think they clean and fill the bowls. Alright. So Shrek is chilling out watching the weather channel. Got Harry working. Oh, damn. Okay, uh, okay. She she knows what to do in the case of a fire because she read fire safety. Oh my god. Ooh. Well, 
she fuck that meal up. She's like, I can't handle the stress in this house. I'm having a bath. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on. Is is he getting a better relationship with this daughter of his? 49 over 24. I just want him to become friends with her. You know, and then we have to work on his relationship with his boys. Yes, they can't. Do oh, kids can. Oh, right. I forgot about that. That's, I always forget about that. Teaching parrots how to talk. All right, uh, I don't know if it's worth getting a parrot, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> Larkin is back from work. Is Larkin able to actually learn anything? Or is she too tired? Okay, her hygiene really sucks. And mom needs a bath. Mom is, like, stressed out from the whole fire. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right, let's just see what his enthusiasm is doing. He has one science enthusiasm. I think now he can read the paper. I could be wrong, though. Oh, who the, wait a second. Why is the nanny here? Why is the nanny here? Why are you here, nanny? You're reading my paper. Fuck. All right, so uh, I think that he... I think you have to be too... You have to be too... Um, to read the paper. Too enthusiastic, I think. <laughs> they can talk about that. Oh, okay. So they can. He can talk about science, but who's going to listen to him? I don't know. Blah blah. Blah blah. All right. This is this is getting a little tedious. Okay, pick her up. Uh, you might be able to toss her in the air, actually. Blah, blah. All right, you. You still have to eat, and I need you to dismiss this woman. Like, why is she showing up? I'm going to just fire her ass. Just, it, just end services, please. Oh my god, you see what I mean? When the nanny decides it wants to do something with the child, even though I queued him up to do a bunch of stuff with the kid, her her stuff, like, oh, like basically, her stuff jumps to, to the head of the queue and pushes his stuff aside, which I don't like. So you, come over here. Are you guys watching? Are you still watching the Weather Channel? Yep, they're still watching Weather. But is he actually watching it with him? Oh, he is. Oh, he asked Harry to join him on the couch. Isn't that sweet? Oh my god, that's so precious. They actually are getting along with each other. That is so cool. All right, so they're just chilling watching the Weather Channel, and he's getting his science up. She's working. Oh, she needs to be put to bed. Are you worried? What are you doing with the child? No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You, need, you need to fire her right now. Put the kid down nice and slow. This woman is pissing me off. She should. She's putting her in the, in the high chair, and she does not need to be in the high chair. She needs to go to bed. See? Fuck off. Go to the crib, please. Leave. Leave. Now. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, she's, like, super hungry. So I need you to actually get rid of that. Get the chicken tikka masala. It's burnt. Oh, <laughs> No, 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 you're not going to eat that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Put it down. Put it down. There we go. Put it. See, I can't get rid of it. Normally, I would be able, I would have the option to throw it away. So, I don't know why suddenly that's not working. Alright, you. 
You need to pee. So come over here. All right, you, uh, you're you gonna have to try and cook again. Actually, why don't you have some healthy food? Hopefully you'll be able to put it in the microwave. Now, now that the toaster's gone, it's not gonna fuck up for an error. All right, so she's taken care of. Uh, what is, go oh, he's got two science now. Right on. All right, go up, come upstairs and read the science section. Thank you. And what is it that little boy, oh, he's into games. So he already has, okay. So he was getting gaming enthusiasm from the chess. So I no longer have that mod where chess is science. I should probably put it back in my folder though. Cause as you can see, there's not a lot of sciencey things people can do. I mean, the telescope you can only really use at night unless you want to get into a fight with somebody. Anyway, um, what else could we do with this kid? He could learn to cook. Why don't you switch to the yummy channel and start learning the basics? Yes, yeah, save my game now. <laughs> Thank you for asking. My phone keeps dinging at me and I'm not sure what it means because like I said, this is a brand new phone and I don't know what all these different sounds are. So let me just get on here and see what's going on. Could be Discord, could be TikTok, it could be YouTube, I don't know. Okay, looks like I have an email. I have something from Twitch, something from Discord and something from G uh, e my email. Okay. Fuck it. <laughs> it's going to take me forever to break in this fucking phone. Like, I'm talking days. And days. Alright, Shrek. I can't wait for him to become a teenager. Alright, so she's going to have... That looks so yummy. Yeah, the maid... He doesn't care that the maid's in there. Like, she's seen it all. <laughs> she's seen every resident of this Uberhood naked. Wow, what the hell? Oh, you're super stinky. Larkin, you need a bath. Okay, uh, I need mom to get down here when she's finished eating that. I'm gonna wait till she's done. She's, she is kind of hungry. You, come down here. Are you gonna answer the phone? Yes, he is answering the phone. Look at that. It's probably a crank call. Wow. Yeah. It's so cute when kids read the paper. <laughs> it's just so adorable. It's so big. Like this, it's like almost as big as they are. It's actually kind of funny. All right, Fiona is sleeping. Aside from that, well, she's getting a little hungry. She has to pee soon, but she's she's clean. Harry's downstairs learning how to cook. He's actually a little bit hungry. So is he. She Okay, I'm going to actually have him bathe Larkin. Wash Larkin. Come downstairs. Larkin, you're not going anywhere. Oh, no, you don't. You're, you're going to go over here. I love this basement. Turned out really well. Right, you better be better behave when you get in that tub. I really like this. This looks a lot better. This setup. Who the, who the fuck is this getting all these trades? BJ Ryan. Oh, he used to be the headmaster. He's the headmaster from um, Pleasant View. And I turned him into a townie because I only want one headmaster, the one from the Plum Tales thing. So anyway, that, that's the guy that used to be the headmaster. He's a townie now. He looks very debonair in his little, his little hat. I, I like putting older men in hats. I don't know why. Because <laughs> that's what I grew up with. 
I get I guess that's why <laughs> I just answered my own question anyway he just got a bunch of traits so all right what is what is she doing does she need to do anything no everything's fine um it's five o'clock so I'm actually gonna have her make dinner we are gonna have what are we gonna have tonight we're gonna have cream stew with salmon yeah that's what we're having All right, is Shrek, is Shrek at three? Because when he gets to three, I'm going to stop. Yeah, he's at three. Actually, we're going to get a telescope. I don't know where we're going to put it. Probably over here in this garden. Because we do have a science sim on the lot. Also, she's, I believe, mom is science. Is, no, she's nature. But she likes to look through telescopes. That's how she got Shrek in the first place. So she might actually end up using this telescope. So we're just going to put it in with the flowers just over here a little bit. Make sure that it's it can be approached and used. I'll put this over here. These bushes, I think these are the two cheat bushes or one of them's the, one of the cheat bushes. This is the how long bush and that's just a regular bush for the dogs to pee on. All right, so when it gets to be later, he can look through the telescope. Right now, I'm going to just cancel the newspaper so he can get ready for... Uh, I'm going to have him call Lisa. He wants an A-plus report card, but he already has an A-plus report card, so I'm not sure why it's rolling that... Oh, you're you're watching sports, you little fucker. I wanted you to <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> I wanted him to learn cooking. Little shit changed the channel on me. Uh praise for behaving in the tub. Good boy. Actually, that's a girl. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Wait a second. How's Larkin doing? Is she is she able to learn anything? Well, she's kind of tired. She has to learn how to roll over. I don't know if she's up for training. Maybe we should hire an obedience trainer tomorrow. Uh, why don't you come here? Have we? Oh. Why don't you teach her, like, start teaching her roll over? I don't think you'll be able to finish it, though. She'll mm. probably stop because she's kind of tired. She, he might be able to do it. You, go teach her. Ah, 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 no, stop. Alright, you. You've been fucking around long enough. Uh, it's actually almost six. Why don't you come up here? Oh! Yeah, have some food. Grab a bowl. This is mom's, uh, lunch. Can I grab this? Can I grab it? No. No. For some reason I can't. Is it because little this little boy like Shrek wants to pick it up? Is that what is that what's going on? Clean that up. He likes to clean things up, so. And then you're gonna have food afterwards, and then your brother's gonna have it, and then you guys are gonna go to bed because it's school night. And it looks like Fiona got herself out of the crib again. Why don't you go potty? And I'll have, um, this time I'm going to have uh, Harry give you a bottle. How about that? Or maybe we can put you in the high chair. What a do, love, I'll go do. Oh, but be lavisto. Oh, yeah. Lark, Tiffy. I just have to keep an eye on, um, Larkin. Larkin. I can get rid of these toddler toys because she's she's done. 
She's aging up soon. She's uh, she's got all she's got two of everything. At least two of everything. Yarny. I don't know what happened with uh, Harry, but we I I <laughs> I missed that part with Harry. It happens in big households with lots of animals. I can't always get the toddlers, you know, two two of each skill before they age up. I like to. It's like a goal that I have, but. Ooh. All right. Um. You're just gonna have to play up here. I don't know what to tell you. Play that. <laughs> They're talking fashion. That's so cute. All right. Now Shrek definitely has to get ready for bed. So he's going to be the first to do that. And then you're going to get in your top bunk. It's actually a little after seven, so it's a perfect time for them to... Get ready. And you are going to get a bottle for your sister. Before she ages up. That looks so good. Cream of salmon soup. Alright, <laughs> right, what's going on downstairs? When the dog or if when a dog or cat gets tired or they're hungry, they will stop the training themselves. So as long as he's okay if she's okay with it, he's just gonna keep going at it. She looks like she's about halfway down. Okay, she's tired now, so we're gonna stop. Alright, you are gonna go to bed. Oh no, you're gonna sleep, not relax. You go upstairs. Oh, your husband was going to grab some of that. You, come up here. Alright, you are going to go to bed. But, how? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I'm just going to have her, I'm just going to put Fiona in the chair. And have um, Harry just go to bed at this point. I'm going to have him clean up after himself. And... Push, push. We're gonna give her spaghetti. All right, you. Uh, actually, I need you to clean up after yourself. Here you go. And then you are going to get ready for bed. This looks like your brother's finished with the shower. There it goes. You're gonna go to sleep. You're gonna first day of school tomorrow. And that looks good. She's eating her spaghetti. So tomorrow night we're going to have the party and she's going to age up. I think. Yeah, today's Sunday. Oh, so I think we finished Wednesday. Actually, it's Tuesday is, is the her age up day because Wednesday morning is when we stop, I believe. Hold on. Uh, Sunday, Monday, to Yeah, it's Wednesday morning. So we'll have a Tuesday. We still have two days with this family. All right, you. Relax. You, relax. We'll get some relaxing in with you two. Oh my God, I just realized something. Um, You need to take her out of the chair first. Let Fiona out, then you can relax. Dude, that's gross, <laughs> right in front of your toddler child. All right, you're just going to have to, like, just entertain yourself, Fiona. I don't know what to tell you. All right, come over here. Play with some toys. 
Now let's just see, are they rolling any want to have more kids? They're not, but they're not rolling any fears that, of having more kids. So it's a gray area. <laughs> That's how I interpret it. Uh, she does want to ask if someone on a date, be flirted with, well, flirt and be flirted with. Uh, flirt and be flirted with. Oh, no, ask a same on a date. So they have very similar wants that they're rolling. <laughs> so I'm just going to set them out to, like, kiss and make out. And if they want to do anything up above and beyond that, it's up to them. Looks like the boys are in bed, so I'm just going to put this on the fast speed. Yeah, if they don't want to do anything, they'll just get up. It doesn't look like their ACR is kicking in, so I'll just have them go to bed. Actually, hold on. Uh, if they're not going to do anything, I'll have them get out of bed and flirt with each other, because they do have wants for that. Flirt and be flirted with. Flirt. Goose. I'm going to have her goose him because it's funny. <laughs> 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 Oh, they now he's rolling the wad to woohoo in a hot tub or a bed. Which one? Which one's worth more? 3,500? 3,500. All right. What about her? She, she wants to get into a hot tub though. All right, all right, hold on, hold on. Uh, we're gonna get into the hot tub. Get in. Kill two birds with one stone and all that. I mean, they're tired, but they're not like so exhausted they can't do this. Then we're gonna put them to bed afterwards. Yes, it's like almost midnight, and they both have to work tomorrow, so. I just love this, the love tub makeover. It's just, it looks like a normal hot tub now. Oh. He does want to definitely woohoo. Oh, are they talking about having another baby? Oh, this is exciting. I think they are. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's have another baby. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, why don't you cuddle? <laughs> it's very... Oh, is that why they do it? Oh, okay. It's because he's outgoing. Got it, got it. I must have accidentally clicked on Splash. Oh, is she getting credit for uh soaking in the hot tub did she get oh she did get credit for that now she wants to stargaze well that's how you got pregnant the first time around so no i'm not gonna let you stargaze unless you do it on your own if you go over there on your own that's fine um i'm gonna should i try for baby guys i'm gonna let you decide because he wants to woohoo and they just talked about a baby like they were both talking about a pacifier casual Should we just do casual woohoo? Okay, do it through the casual menu. Should I try for baby or just do casual woohoo? Oh, try for baby. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Maybe this will be the part, the start of a new baby boom. I don't know. <laughs> oh, lower chance. Okay. Oh, oh, Azimuth. Oh, she's pregnant! Oh my God! It's been a while since I've heard the chimes, you guys. We went at the entire round four. Um, yeah, no chimes. <laughs> now you're going to see 
Hold on. Is it twins? No, it's just one baby. That's fine. That's fine. I hope it's a girl, though. I hope mm. it's a girl. All right. So they're pre it's the first first baby uh, in the next uh, round of babies. So all right. everybody go to bed. Everybody's go to bed right now. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, shit. I skipped my, my uh, second and third break. Hold on. Duh. <laughs> I've been on for three hours and I've only taken one break so far. That's actually kind of funny. All right, guys, I'm going to do three minutes. I'm probably going to be back in time, though, because I don't want to take my dog out this time. Now I just have to pee. So <laughs> anyway, do not watch these ads, please. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back early. Look at that. Got 30 seconds to spare. Whew. I just love the tile in that kitchen. Like it just it just brings in so much, you know, brings in green from the plant over here. It brings in this color. Okay, 10 seconds. We got 10 seconds before everybody comes back. Most of you don't even get ads, but I got to do something about this living room. They don't even use it that much. The only time they come in here is to dance to the stereo. Okay, everybody's back for the break. <laughs> All right. Um, hold on. What time is it? It's just after midnight. So let's go ahead and put this on fast speed. Oh, wait. Have I have I saved? Oh, Johnny Cullen has been dropped home from a round of intergalactic travel. That doesn't mean he's pregnant, though. That doesn't mean he's pregnant. Uh, in my game, just because a man is uh, kidnapped by aliens doesn't mean he ends up right anyway he's already had an alien space baby you guys yeah he's already had an alien child so that'd be interesting i don't know if he's pregnant but we'll find out eventually i guess let's go ahead and save she can stargaze since she's already pregnant i mean oh hi heritage save <laughs> we don't want any more uh sudden um crashes like we did in the beginning which i'm still mad about <laughs> damn it <laughs> all right we're gonna put this on three 
Roscoe has returned home. Maya's pregnant. Okay, so putting the ailing pregnancy module back in and the, the pregnancy in general module back has been quite successful. All right, what's what's going on with the Larkin? Oh, she's got to pee. Quick, get up here. Get up here. Uh, use this bush. Actually, I'm going to have her teleport up here. You teleport. Use that bush, please. Thank you. There you go. Good girl. Actually, hold on. Is he... So oh, he's well rested. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have him stargaze. That's what he's going to do. Because he's green across the board. And you know, he can always have Coco in the morning to wake up before he goes to school. Don't forget, Coco has caffeine. So it's a good way to get caffeine into your kids. All right. I'm pretty sure that he's going to be... Well, I don't know if he's going to be a knowledge sim, but um, he's already he's already a science enthusiasm sim, so he's probably going to roll on LTW related to being a frequent passenger on UFO ships or discovering stars and stuff like that. Probably, I'm going to guess. All right. His brother's still in bed, though, which is exactly where everybody else should be. I'm just going to keep an eye on his motives. Okay, it's almost 3 o'clock in the morning. It is a school day. Oh, Melody Quaddington is now pregnant with Bruno. Oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. Is she even married to him? Is that her husband? Or is that somebody else's husband? I don't think that she... Is she married to him? Because I know I, I, let, I let the ladies from Quaddington University keep their married names. I mean, their, their maiden names, I should say. Um... And her, her ancestors are the ones that, that started Quaddington University, which is why she's got the same last name. Anyway, her parents are also professors. Um, I'm actually thinking of having her parents move in to their her house because she's married with kids now. And, and it looks like she's going to have another child. Anyway, uh, I was going to t bring her parents, like teleport them into the house and then have the game create new professors. Um to replace them and then I was going to have them like just because I want her children to interact with their grandparents and I can't do that as long as they're NPC professors anyway also there's another pre-made student TLC-07 his one of his parents is a professor I think I'm going to do the same thing with him because he's married with kids as well so I'm going to teleport um his, her, his mom, the professor, and I believe his father is a coach. So if I do that, the game will be forced to create even more NPCs, so which is fine. Uh, I do have a mod by Saijon where it's called There Can Only Be One Professor. Because in the vanilla game, you've got three uh, people for each major with three different skin tones. And it's kind of ridiculous. Like, I can understand why they did that. So there's no discrimination stuff. But honestly it just. It makes the game bloated. And it slows it down. And there's just. You don't need three professors for every single major. You just need one for each. So when uh, if and when I do that. And I teleport all these professors into. Uh, their kids houses. Uh, they, they should only. The game should only make one replacement. For each major they represent. Anyway, I have learned so much just from from playing this game over the years and learning what to do and what not to do and and trying to keep your file as small as possible really is one of the best things you can do. Just if you're going to start an Uber hood or even it's just a single hood, it doesn't have to be an Uber hood. Even if it's just a single neighborhood. Your goal is to really have as few NPCs and townies as possible, and there's so so many ways that you can go about doing that, and uh, mods that you can download to minimize how many townies are created. And okay, so he's actually doing pretty good. It's 4:30 in the morning, and his his he's fine. He's totally fine. Huh.
The thing I don't like about there can only be one professor is I think there is only one professor per the whole university with that mod, at least I think. Yes, yes. So it basically it would show up on all universities, but I only have, like if you have three universities, uh, you're going to have like the same, I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same professors on each one. I'm not sure how it works, but anyway, um, I only have one university, so just Quantington University. Oh, and I just realized something else. Melody Quaddington, her aunt is also a professor. So, yeah, and I think she's still an adult, so she could technically get married. So what I'm going to do with Melody Quaddington, and I don't know if Bruno Wood's her husband, though, but she's pregnant with his baby. I think it is. Let me just check. Hold on. Let me check who her husband is. I think that all the university students live in Arbor Falls now. And so do the Pleasant View townies, the rest of them, like all the men, like Abhijit, DPS, Amin Sims, Brandon Lillard, Goopy Gills Carbo, Joe Carr, Kennedy Cox, and Comey Tellerman. That's the, that's what's left of the Pleasant View townies. The, the women ha are, have all been married off. Anyway, let's just check to see who she is married to. Oh, so Bruno Wood is her husband, you guys. So she's going to have her second child. Well, that didn't take the game very long getting... Now we have possibly two, three pregnancies. Because jo Johnny might be pregnant with an alien child again. So anyway, anyway, so with Melody, I'm going to teleport her parents and her aunt. Because I think her aunt and her mom are sisters. So, yeah, anyway. I mean, if you want to have three of every major, that's fine. You know, if you want... But you're going to have, like, a lot of... Your file's going to get bloated very quickly, you know? I, I don't know what to tell you. It's up to you. I mean, obviously, if it does, if that doesn't bother you, then... It's two in vanilla game, not three. Oh, it's two! I thought it was three, like one for each skin color. Because they usually have that for, like, the social workers and the repo man and the hot dog vendors... They have three for each skin color, light, medium, and dark. They have that for the um, um, the mannequins, you know, the, the guys, the statues. Even though they all have great skin, they still have three of each. So I just assumed it was like that with the professors. Like there was three of each, one of each color. Oh, anti-redundancy, right, right. Anti-redundancy, that's the other one you guys need to get. <laughs> I forgot about that one. That's a Pescado mod. All right, so he's actually done. It's 6.08 a.m. He, he spent four hours stargazing. So now he's at four science. So he's in a really good position now. So he's at four science. His brother's at four gaming. All right, let's just check out what's going on here. Okay, so he needs to pee a little bit, and his energy's down a tiny bit, but I don't think that's bad. So I'm going to have him come in and get some cereal. And I'm going to get his brother up out of bed, and he's going to have cereal. And I think Amaya is, oh my god. Wait a second, Amaya should be rested. She's been sleeping for six hours. This is bullshit. Hold on, something wonky is going on with my game. Something very wonky is going on. These guys should be well rested. They should be like there, at least, minimum. Because they went to bed just after midnight. That's bullshit right there. Okay, she needs to get up because she's going to work. Oh, God, she's got to be... Okay, the carpool is actually going to be here in 20 minutes. She's so fucked. All right, she better... Okay, you know what? She can eat and pee at work. So I'm not concerned about hunger and bladder. I'm concerned about energy. But I don't think she has enough time to drink coffee. So I'm just going to get her up because the carpool is going to be here soon. Uh, he doesn't have to. Oh, he doesn't work today. Bam. Okay, so he's going to take care of the little one. Maybe he can take her to the park. All right. So he can get up and clean up around here, maybe. He's probably going to keep sleeping, though. Yes, you're pregnant. Uh -huh. 
Where, where is she going? Oh, she's taking her car, right. Okay, is that her carpool or is that for one of the dogs? I think the carpool showed up. The carpool is not supposed to show up for her because I assigned her this car for her. So I'm not... Oh, it's for... Her. Okay, never mind. It's for Larkin. False alarm. <laughs> it was for the dog. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> I was about to tear the game a new one. Like, what the fuck's going on with this game? <laughs> that was funny. All right, you. Clean up. Aww. Alright, you need to actually get up and spend some time with your kid again until you're friends with her, but you need to pee first, so go ahead and do that. Have some leftovers. Alright, he's still sleeping. Get up. All right, you two are going to take the school bus soon. They'll be here like in 10 minutes. I'm not too concerned about Shrek having stayed up. Of course, he's putting the toys away. He's a Virgo. <laughs> Got to keep everything organized, just so. <laughs> if you're a Virgo, you know I'm right about that. <laughs> oh, God, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm ha I know I'm half kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm par I'm partly serious here. <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm gonna make another pot of tea, but it's gonna be decaf, which still has caffeine in it, like legally speaking, but just enough that it won't keep me from going to bed tonight. Oh my god! Is that burnt? What the fuck is that? I don't know what that is, but it's burnt. Okay. All right, so everybody's at work or school except him and Fiona, so he can work on his relationship with Fiona. I think that they, they should go to a park, but it has to be like a child-friendly park. You know? Does she even have other clothes? I usually don't bother with toddler clothes because, you know, I usually just hang out at home. I very rarely take him anywhere. Um. Chibi Tombaloo knock boo vats new. Oh, are they friends finally? Well, I'm gonna have him sing a nursery rhyme for a little bit just to make sure they do. Okay, we have a dirty laundry pile. Oh, I need a hamper. At least one hamper so that the maid can put it. Because the maid will put the dirty clothes in the hamper. I just have to provide her with one. This one? No, I don't like that one. This one's nice. Uh, how about this one? We have a lot of different color choices with this one. So I'm going to have one upstairs. Right here. No, we're going to put it in the bathroom. All right. And we're going to have one downstairs for the boys. And we're going to put it hmm, right here. Yeah, right there. All right. All right. Uh, I need you to also get in some clothes. I think we're going to take her somewhere. I just don't know where. All right. We're going to take his big red truck. Go somewhere. All right. Fiona. All right, uh, Bartholomew Greens. Cafe Grounds, Devore's Pet Store, Playground for Crushes. Here's the roller rink. Strongheart Park, no, I'm not gonna go there. The Show Park? 
Is that the one? Hold on. One of them. I think it's this one. I could be wrong about that. Harbor Falls. Happy's Hideout. The Corner Market. Pet Pavilion. I'm pretty sure that it's in Garden Heights, that big place that I did over. Yeah, it's this one. All right, we're going there. Pretty sure there's toddler shit there. Like, that should keep her happy. Oh, here comes the maid. Why, why is nobody using the front door? Why is the maid not using the front door? What is going on again? Am I going to have to use that, that stuck object remover thing? I don't know. I don't understand what's happening. Everybody keeps going through the fucking garage. Okay, why is he not leaving? Is it because I told him to take the toddler? Okay, you see, this is what was happening in Bon Voyage. You remember this? Because I actually have a mod by Lamar where you can take pets and toddlers to vacation lots. But I have another mod that lets you take pets and babies to community lots by a different person. And it was working, but now it's just like he's they're stuck in limbo at this point. You see what I'm saying? He's just, he hasn't left the driveway. I used to be able to take toddlers to community lots. I don't know what's going on. I think it's story progression. I think that's what it is. If I pick her up, will I be able to, will she be able to just, here, put it next to the truck. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work though. No, that doesn't help. <laughs> now she's tired. <laughs> God, you guys this is not working so there's something going on with toddlers on vacations and toddlers on community lots it's just not working that those two mods aren't working anymore so the one that allows you to bring babies and toddlers and puppies and kittens and taxis to community lots that's by dick hurt i believe and the one for bon voyage is definitely lamar so I'm not ex I should I should probably just stop taking toddlers places. So I don't know how to cancel him out. Can I cancel him out? Can I get him to just get out of his car at this point? I don't think I can. I think it's too late. Can I reset him? Force error? Nope. I tried to force error while he was in the truck. Driver, get in. It's actually 2 p.m. now. Oh, is that, the, is that, oh. Oh, it's Larkin. Yeah, he's just kind of stuck now in limbo, waiting for the toddler to get in the car. <laughs> Wait a second, hold up. I'm going to try to use the teleport function for him. If you hold down the shift key. Is it this one? Or is it house? Oh, here it is. If you hold down the shift key while you click on the, the mailbox, you could go to house and then teleport. There we go. And then I can reset him. There we go. Hopefully that will make everything fine of course the little girl now is super tired which is not her fault so i shouldn't have to suffer because the game fucked up so we're just going to do that and that it's like she's been waiting for hours so so that's what we're going to do so now we're just going to give little girl a bath and from this point forward i'm just going to not bring toddlers or babies to the to community lots or and i'm not going to bring toddlers and pets to Bon Voyage until I can figure out what is going on. But go ahead and bathe her. At least I was able to get him out of the car though. So that's a good trick to remember you guys. If you if somebody's stuck at work or somebody's stuck at school. 
to shift click on the mailbox and choose house and then teleport here and then you have to force an error on them immediately sometimes you have to go into the bat box and like fix stuck uh, special effects or you know fiddle around with that till till everything's clear Woo! Okay, who's stinky? Oh, Roscoe is stinky. Okay, Roscoe's getting a bath next. Yes, he's very stinky. Who the fuck are you? Sal Zukovich. I can't stand the Zukoviches. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to put her uh, in the high chair. So tomorrow she's aging up after the kids get back from school. We're going to invite other children over. Okay, who are you? J Zach Wilson. I think Zach Wilson is a teenager. Yeah, he's one of the Blue Water Village teenagers. Okay. Harry's grades are improving. Yeah, he's supposed to ask permission before bringing a friend home, so that, that one's not working. Who is it? Vinny Moore. Oh, Vincent Jr. From Bidville. Vincent's story. There's Vinny. See, now there's, there's like, a, because that mod's not working anymore, we have, like, a, a bottleneck situation on the school bus. Shrek. Shrek has no homework today, but Harry does. So I think that what we're going to do is we're going to get Henry to teach him how to, uh, we're going to actually put her in the high chair here. Give her some food and then put her to bed. Anyway, we're going to teach uh, Harry how to do homework. All right, uh, why don't you feed Fiona some salad? She's had mac and cheese, spaghetti, now she's going to have salad. Be flat. We don't have any mail yet. It's kind of weird. That we haven't had any bills yet so far. Oh, they're playing outside. Uh, why don't you get everybody in their regular clothes? Looks like they just met at school because they just have a 20 over 20 relationship. All right, just make sure that she actually does have to, yeah. Oh, she has to pee first. Okay, why don't you take her to the potty? She knows how to potty herself, but. And then you're gonna put her to bed. And then you're gonna give this dog a bath and then you're gonna teach your, uh, your son. What did you do? How to do homework. You're a stinky boy. Look at you. Blue the dive, shoot it. Who fly fly bro? Oh, ah, <laughs> so cute. He's going to have some cheesecake. That's what he's going to have. What's Shrek going to have? Oh! Is Shrek going to cook? Oh, he wants to bake. Oh, he's ba he really likes cooking. I mean, this guy... He's a natural. Like, I, he's, this is the third time he's tried to bake something. So I definitely have to get that, that, um, that mod that lets me bake different... Oh, who are you? Cadence Oglethorpe. Interesting. Uh, why don't you say hi to Cadence Oglethorpe? Mm -hmm. Oi! Is it blame? Is it blame? 
She's one of she's like one of the twins. Oh, by the way, uh, her parents, Maximilian Oglethorpe and Sasha Ayers, um, they had a second set of twins. And, and I had nothing to do with it. They've had two set of twins now without any intervention from me. Oh my god, this is the third time you've burned something. It's like you want to cook, but you suck at it. Not sure what's going on there. Are you going to greet her? Or... Yeah, go outside and greet her. Alright, now... Dad should actually... Hold on. We gotta put her to bed. Did you put... Oh, you did put her to bed. Okay, okay. Fair enough. That's enough. We gotta do fatherly duties. And then you have to wash the dog. Poor Roscoe. Um, oh, mom is super tired. Maybe she can... No, actually, she's okay. Why don't you wash Roscoe? She's, he's your dog anyway. He's your responsibility. Oh. Off you go. Alright, Roscoe, get your butt down here. Oh! Is your butt already down here? It's already down here. <laughs> My bad. Alright, we have to finish teaching Larkin stuff. Actually, Larkin is, is doing really well. We can finish teaching her stuff. I need to keep an eye on Roscoe so he's not naughty. Alright. Gotta praise him for behaving. Good boy. Okay. So, what we're gonna do is... Just wanna double check that what Larkin needs to learn. She needs to learn to come here and roll over. So, we already worked on roll over. He's just like halfway to that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna teach roll over. We're gonna finish that up tonight. And start teaching her how to come here. All right, you come on, out of out of bed. Off you go. Oh. Yvain Stardust got a new trait. Is she walking across? Oh, there she is. Okay, that's why she got that. She's walking across here. All right, I think that. Um. Oh, is he sleeping? Shrek. Oh, he's super tired. I was gonna have her, have him come up and say hi to Yvain. Why don't you say hi? Greet Yvain and Emmanuel. Oh, she better hurry. Better hurry. She's leaving. Okay, I don't think he's going to get there in time. Oh, he's doing his homework. Oh, he's doing his homework automatically. Right. Are you going to get there in time? I don't think you are. Oh, no, she's staying. She's staying. Yep. Looks like they... They're both wearing green, although he likes purple. I still have to guess him up. up. Uh, say goodbye to everybody. It's kind of getting late. Alright, you come back down here. I'm going to have your st your dad come down here and help you with homework. Where the hell, where the hell is he? There they go. Oh, Shrek, you silly, silly young man. Oh. There's no TV in here. I don't know why he's he's dreaming about a TV keeping him up. Oh, although his, da his dad is, or his stepdad is teaching his uh, half-brother how to do homework. So maybe that's it. Anyway, you need to get up, sweetie. Because you need to get up and get ready for bed. <laughs> That makes sense. Uh, he's actually hungry. Come up here and have some food, please. You go ahead and clean that up. <laughs> All right.
right, what's going on with Fiona? She's a little hungry. Maybe I should give her a bottle. Get a bottle for Fiona. Mm, mm, and then you're going to put this away. Actually, you need to grab a plate. You're still hungry. Oh, that's because she's pregnant. I forgot about that. That's why. Because I realized she just ate. She's still hungry, and that's why. It's been a while since I've had to deal with a pregnant Sim. All right, so the dogs actually should be in good shape. Um, hmm. She's fully rested. What's going on with uh Henry? Oh, he's still teaching. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna praise for peeing outside. We're gonna definitely get that one lined up. <laughs> She's wagging her tail waiting to be praised. <laughs> All right, he got there in time. Look at that. So, teach command rollover. We're already halfway done. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move this puddle over here so they don't, she doesn't roll around in it. <laughs> oh, he, she, she's finally learned to go outside. She's housebroken officially. Did you hear that? All right, so she's actually two-thirds of the way of learning, I would say, learning how to roll over. Rom rom. All right, what's going on with Shrek? Shrek has to go to bed. <laughs> rom rom. Go to bed. Your brother needs to have a shower. No, what are you doing upstairs? No. Okay, he has to be. He has to be reset again. Do you see this? So we tippy. <laughs> Oh, rum rum. Yeah, he needs to be reset again. You're going to have to come down here. He's actually still hungry. I don't think he actually ever ate. So he's going to have to wait till breakfast at this point. All right, so what we're going to do is we're trying to get him as close to here as possible. All right, then we're going to do adjust, bed ownership, clear all, own this bed. Oh, it's because it's a bunk bed. That's oh, okay. Now I really fucked things up. <laughs> I really fucked things up by doing that. Oh, my God. It's not used to having bunk beds because it's got two beds now and it's confused. <gasps> he disappeared. <laughs> Oh my god, should I should I go ahead and save? Like go okay. I can't I can't exit neighborhood without saving. No, I don't want to do this. Alright, she's sleeping. Tiffy. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can teleport the little boy back. Oh I can't. <gasps> Oh, wait a second. Where's the sim blender? Maybe we could teleport him that way. Shouldn't they be on the first page? Shouldn't they be the Benise family be on the first page? Martin, Fielding, James, DeBoer, Thornton, Default. Where's Benise? Blaze? Is it because we're in the Benise household and it's just not showing? That's why it's not showing up? Oh, he, he was on the last page! Okay, so whatever the active household is, their family shows up on the last page. Harry. Bring Harry back. There he is! Alright, you little fucker. Uh, we're going to have to put him back in the, uh, move him back in. <laughs> Wait a second. I think we have to move him back in, you guys. Uh... 
Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Can I click on him? I think I fucked up my... Oh, make selectable. Okay. Can he move himself back in? Make me a downtown. He put up for adoption. Fiona, Shrek, Henry, Amaya. Not sure what's going on there. I did delete him at one point, though. Go ahead and sleep in this bed. There. There you go. There we go. Oh my god, that was a bit of a shit show. Hold on. Um, not sure what is going to happen there. It should be fine. It should be fine. Try restore. Oh, try restore family. Yes. Do you think I should still do that? Is the restore family on the bad box? Nuke. Or is it under the sim manipulator menu? Is it under the sim manipulator menu? Because I can I can bring that into the game. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to actually save, go into the neighborhood. Oh, I can't! <gasps> it's not letting me save, you guys. I can't save. Fuck. Alright, what do I do? It's acting like there's a fire on the lot and I, you can't save during a burglary or a fire or anything like that. And it's acting like it's in the middle of an animation. That's what the problem is. What should I do? All right, hold on, hold on. I have to get the sim manipulator menu out. See if that's the one, the object that I need. We've got the pizza box from Cy John. There's the Sim Blender. Sim Manipulator. All right. Um, on the blender. Oh, it's all fine. Okay, hold on. I went upstairs. Here's, here's the Sim Blender. There's no, there's no move in. So I had to make him selectable to make him part of the family, but there's no move in. Like he's still part of the family. There's no move in thing. And then when I click on, let's see, let's try to click on the mom, see what happens. Maybe she'll have a move-in button. Make stray, put up for adoption, make me downtowny, make me towny, Henry. Got Harry. Yeah, there's no move-in thing. So hopefully it's, it's, but I can't save. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. All right, you need to get up, sweetie, and pee. Who's whining? What's, what's the matter, sweetie? Oh. Oh. Roscoe does not like Henry. Henry's dropping the ball. Like, he's not keeping up with his relationships at all. So this is our last day with him. It's Tuesday. We're going to have a party tonight. We might have to teleport some of the kids in. Because the parents don't know all the children, so, but, you know, that's fine. That's why we need to have an early party. So basically when the kids get home, we're going to have a party and age her up. Which means she'll age up again at midnight, but that's fine. I can just, I can actually de-age her one day through the Sim Blender. All right, so what is going on with her? Yeah, she needs to be put to bed. So go ahead and put her to bed. Yeah, I still can't save. 
It's it's acting like there's there's something happening, like a fire or a burglary. All right, hold on. Um, let's try the manipulator. Let's go downstairs. First of all, let's try Sai John's debugger. Randomize my TO, satisfy my LTO, fix movement, muted stereos. Now that's the only thing I could do with the debugger box. Ultra time creature pregnancy miscellaneous. I don't think this is going to do anything. Enable save. Did that do anything? Oh! I can save it now! And it works! <laughs> you guys, I can save now! Okay, so what I did was I went into... Oh, sorry for sorry if I was too loud. Um, so what I did was I went into the sim manipulator. I went into miscellaneous. And I enabled save. So basically, I wasn't able to save because the game thought that there was something, there was an animation happening. Or, you know, like when the Grim Reaper shows up or the social worker is taking children away or there's a fire or a burglary. You cannot save during those situations, right? It's, It was acting like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the neighborhood, save. Oh, thank God I figured that out. Oh, thank you, thank you, Lord. Uh, sorry. Whew. <laughs> Yeah, that was weird. I thought that when I when I teleported him back in, he wasn't showing up in the family, that I would have to move him back in, but it just wasn't showing up. So, Because technically, he's still part of the family. I still don't understand why he went to sleep in his parents' bed again, because I've already reset his bed. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I think smart beds isn't it isn't working well with the bug beds. Um, yeah. I think that's part of the problem. So because Shrek is already on the top bunk, he thinks that his bed is being occupied. I think that's what the problem is. I'm I'm just it's just a guess. <sighs> okay, hold on. I just want to look at... See, that is so handsome looking. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn or anything, but that's just... Uh, this has to be changed, though. This thing right here. We need to change that because it kind of sticks out like a sword thumb. So we're going to do like a light colored. Like that. There we go. That's fine. I wish we could have two different sides, like two colors on the archways. That would be awesome. But I'm pretty sure that if Honeywell could have fixed it, she would have fixed it, you know? She did She did what she could with what she was given. I'm sure that she tried to make it so you could have different colors on each side. It just wasn't going to work. Um... What's going on with this dog? Oh, he's, he has to pee. Come outside and pee. Yeah, if you have to pee, pee. Um, what about Larkin? Larkin's actually tight. Did she actually learn how to roll over? <gasps> she did. Now she just has to come here. Okay, we'll work on that tomorrow. Right now, we're just gonna. Does anybody need a bath right now? Nope. Oh, she needs a bath. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, um, hold on. He can sleep in a little bit. So I'm going to have him watch Larkin. Rob? Fiala? Uh-oh. No, 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 don't go upstairs. No, come over here. She's going to fast travel. Come on, fast travel. Teleport. There we go. All right, now you can watch Larkin. And the dogs will be... Bitch. Except for the Bitch. fact that she needs to, to learn how to... Oh. I don't want to 
have a bath. <laughs> That's so cute. Get the tub. Come on. I just had a bath two days ago. Well, that's because you're rolling around in filth, probably. I'm going to assume that's why she's dirty. She got dirty very quickly. If this if Roscoe is not having a good time of it. He's just not getting... Okay, you know what? We need to actually baby this dog. You need to... um. Feed a treat. Stroke. Rub belly. Oh, no way! No way! It's supposed to be... Hold on. It's supposed to be 96 hours per trimester. It's like 12 days to have a baby. Okay, at least she doesn't have to work tomorrow. All right, Roscoe, come on. Mommy wants to give you some loving. Where are you going? Oh my God. We need to get his skill up, his uh, social up a little bit. Oh, wait, did you praise her for behaving in the tub? No, you did not. Get down here. Oh, All right. This poor animal has been ignored by everybody pretty much the whole rotation. You come upstairs, please. Tonight we're having a party. He is super tired. Go ahead and go to bed. And you can go to bed. Because you, you don't have to work tomorrow. Uh, Alright, that's enough. Oh, Sarah Rome is now pregnant with Adrian Rome's baby. Oh, just get upstairs. Alright, we are going to save, 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 save. This is our last day with them. I'm almost at the four hour mark, so it's just, just in the nick of time. Off to bed. All right. Wow, she got to bed at just after 3 a.m. So we're definitely going to have an early birthday party. Because we are going to be inviting children. So I actually have a new sim blender that allows you to uh, age up three days, one days, one day, or five day. So there's one, three, and five now. You have the choice. Younger and older. Three days older, three days younger, one day older, one day younger, and on the next page you got five. So now it gives you a little bit more wiggle room. Because I think before that it was three. It was just three. So we're going to actually age her down one day. Because she'll be aged up twice today. All right. It's almost 6 a.m. So we're going to get Shrek up. He needs to pee. So you get up. Your brother is hungry. Oh, you're fine. Stop your wailing. And then Shrek is going to have something to eat. <laughs> and you have to pee. Well, not so bad. You can just play with your toys. Go play with your toys. Come on. We're going to have a birthday party today. Ugh. All right. What does he work? 
3 p.m. He might get a promotion. I don't know. His job performance is maxed out, and he just finished getting his logic skills. So we send him to work in a good mood. He might get a promotion. She needs to eat. She wants to go roller skating. Well, not while you're pregnant, Speedy. Influence somebody to garden. Hold on. Speaking of garden, when's the last? Oh. Oh. Um... Yeah, she needs to do some gardening. I think this is for Larkin. Oh, you little fucker. You did it again. That's not the front door. Just going to put this inside here. Uh, I have a, a sneaky suspicion because the maid is not using the front door that something wonky is going on here. So let's go ahead and save. And I'm going to get out the, lo the object, stuck object remover thing. Because the last time I did this on a front porch, it got rid of, like, a bunch of invisible shit, which kind of shocked the hell out of me. I wasn't expecting it. Now, it probably will get rid of the steps and possibly the mailbox. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the mailbox over here so it doesn't magically disappear. So there's something, there must be something invisible here that's just... I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of the stairs because there could be something underneath the stairs. That's that's what happened last time. So. All right. Uh, we're also going to do this just in case there's something blocking. There could be something blocking just right here. So I need to make sure that all these squares are full up. All the way to the front door. One object burninated. All right, so let's put the stairs back. And I'm going to put a door, like a... It's going to be an exterior door. I had an exterior door on there before. I'm going to use a different one. <laughs> That's three. Actually, we're just going to use the same one. Because I don't think it's the door itself. There was just, I don't know, for whatever reason, people are not using the front door. And I don't know why. Like, the newspaper boy thinks this is the front door over here. So, I'm not sure. Maybe I should get rid of this door? Let's just get rid of this door and see what happens. If, the, if people start using the front door, then I'll know that something weird was going on with this door. Anyway. Ah, the joys of playing Sims 2. Aw, thank you for the hydrate in the safe game. Four hours soon, yeah. We're gonna wrap it up soon. So I can play some Lethal Company or something. I have this overwhelming urge to kill something. <laughs> uh, don't judge me. <laughs> oh my god. All right. These kids are going to be going off to school soon. Where do you think you're going, mister? Oh, he's ma he's making his bed. Of course he's making his bed. He's a Virgo. <laughs> Wait, what is he, what is Harry again? Oh, he's a Sagittarius. Yeah, he's sloppy. <laughs> They're sloppy. <laughs> Just like Libras, apparently. 
All right, off you go to school. Come on, let's go. I just think it's hilarious that they're complete opposites. Oh wait, I gotta put the mailbox back. Boop. Boop. There we go. I still haven't done anything with this living room. <laughs> or the bedroom. We'll get it in the next rotation. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, we're definitely going to give her a bedroom downstairs. This will turn into a sewing craft room or whatever. This will be his man cave. We have manly things in there. <laughs> uh, where's Shrek? Is he? Oh, he's getting on the bus. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. He goes to work when? Would you just eat your breakfast, please? Mm. That looks so good. Oh, just, just hurry up and eat. What the hell? Wait a minute. And then you could do some gardening. Oh, these crops are not doing well. I don't even think she has a bronze gardening badge, to be honest with you. She, I think this isn't the first garden she's had. She might have had one in, in her original house. I'm not sure whose house this is. I don't know if this is Henry's original house or her original house. Oh my god, would you hurry the fuck up? Little girl is just in her own little world there. Alright, Dad, I need you to put her in the high chair. Probably the last time we're going to put her in the high chair, actually. Oh my god, he's never going to finish. I'm going to put this on fast speed. Now go get your little girl, please. And I hear this. Alright, what is... Okay, she's going to get ready. She actually is still hungry. What the fuck? And then you're going to give her some fruit. Feed Fiona some fruit. That's a, a nice breakfasty kind of thing to do. Oh my lord. That's a lot of dishes. She's, I think she and her brother look so much alike. stuff is getting low time to reorder got it all right why don't you do that right now delivery max it out the whole kit and caboodle all right uh, she needs to eat again. Did you pee? I don't think you peed. Are you gonna pee? Yeah, she's gonna pee. You need to eat something again. You're gonna have pumpkin soup puree with seeds. Uh, you're not going anywhere, mister. Uh, why don't you come over here? You need to get ready for work soon. You have to drive. Also, you need to eat again, apparently. You're gonna have mushroom soup. Mom's going to have pumpkin soup with seeds. Pumpkin seeds, probably, is what they mean. And you're going to have mushroom soup. Yeah, I he already reordered. Oh, there's the groceries right there. <laughs> I 
love it when they do that, when they point their fingers to somebody. <laughs> hey, Brenna. Hey. <laughs> just always makes me laugh. Varish. Varish. Thank you. Much hey, obliged. All right, now I need you to resume cooking. All right, that's what pumpkin soup with seeds looks like. That looks really good. I guess that's the seeds on the side, roast, roasted pumpkin seeds. All right, now you can take her out. I don't think you should go hiking in this one. There we go. When is, when is he supposed to leave? At 2. It's 12.30. He's fine. I'm going to put this on fast. Woo! Might get some fires outside. now. Hurry up. I actually have a mod where they're supposed to talk less and eat more. I think that I think that's the name of the mod actually. Yeah, <laughs> something something like that. <laughs> Eat more talk less. That's what it is. And I think it's by Crammy Boy or so I don't know who did it. And then somebody had to fix the mods. I think Boiling Oil fixed it or so, I don't know. Ah, so confusing. All right, she's just gonna spray the shit out of everything. Probably not the healthiest thing you could do while you're pregnant, but we're gonna pretend it's safe for the baby. So now she's going to, I told her to, okay, that one's dead. This one is dead. Compost. That one's dead. A lot of her plants are dead. I'm not sure what's going on there. <laughs> wow. She's tending as many as she can, but she's going to have to throw out these three and that one right there. Oh, there he goes. Off to work. All right. Finally, we get some, some bills. So when she's done with that, we're going to get the mail. When the kids get home, we're throwing the party. So dad won't be here for the party. Okay, that sucks. She lost a lot of plants. I think it's because she doesn't even have, she doesn't have any gardening badges at all. This was literally her first garden. And she kind of slacked off a little bit for like, she didn't tend to it. Harry's grades are improving. Okay, mom, we're going to have a party. Um... So we're, first thing we're going to do is order pizza. We're going to pay the bills first. Pay all bills. Aw. The trade randomizer just threw an error, guys. Not sure what was going on with that. Looks like somebody is walking across the lot somewhere? Not sure. Uh, wait a second, hold up. Why are they not in, pri in private school uniforms? I mean, all children have to wear uniforms in this game. Oh wait, that's not, that's Lynn and Boggle. Okay, he's from the Boggle household. That's what that's who threw the um the trait randomizer error. It was Leonid. Because he just grew up into a child recently. There's Harry. Off you go, Harry. How good you 
Okay, so they both brought friends home. That's why the trait randomizer freaked out. Probably. Oh my god. This dog keeps a... Okay, there, there they go. Off you go. I don't know what Leon is doing. Uh, you, come over here. Play Don't Wake the Llama. And you can invite everybody to play with you. You. Invite him, ask to join game. And this little boy up here, this is, oh, this is Colby Briggs. Okay, Jimmy Briggs was here earlier, his older brother. Asked to join game. Okay, so the four of them are just going to play Don't Like the Llama. <laughs> you come down here, please, and just join. Thank you. Never mind the dog. We already have two kids here, so I think that um, we'll just not worry about inviting more children. We've, we've got the two boys here that they brought home from school. Okay, so I'm going to have her just ha start the party. Um, Let's job. No, we're going to do a party. Vacation, pet registry, business. Throw party. Here we go. House party, birthday. Um, I don't think we should do a birthday party. I think we just do like a regular house party. Yeah, just go ahead and put it on the floor. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. We should probably invite kids. Adisha, Don, Joe, Julian, Pinky, Star, Michael. Let's just do it. Okay, so we're going to have four boys here. We don't have any girls. You know what? Let's try to find some girls. There's got to be girls that she knows. Let's go ahead and do A to Z. this is by family right so if I if I look down at a family okay Rebecca that's a girl Briar Rose okay she's she's a plant sim okay so that's good enough we already have two boys here so that's good enough all right so I need you to come over here and serve some uh, dessert. Here, I'm going to have her serve some gelatin. <laughs> that should be fairly simple. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put the cake there. We're going to have balloons. We're going to put the balloons here. Just outside the door. And I think, oh. Pop and party balloons. Hold on. We'll get this one. What's this one for? That's birthday, I think. What's this one? Oh, that's birthday girl. All right, let's go ahead and put the, the controller over here. Put this on top. There we go. All right, you guys have to come upstairs. Get ready for the... We're just going to have her blow out the candles now. Oh, she's actually kind of tired. Oh, she's got to pee. Oh, okay, she's, uh, she just served the gelatin right on. 
All right, I'm going to need you to actually put that down and bring Fiona the cake. Aw, oh, she put it right there. That's so cool that those, those little green things work. Oh, hello. Why don't you greet Melissa? She can be, like, part of the party. Go outside. She inadvertently shows up just at the right time here. All right, like now, bring her to the cake. Here. Okay, she he just stole your, your gelatin, but that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, he put it in the fridge. Okay, that's the first time I've seen him do anything like that. That's something his brother would have done. All right, let's get this show on the road. We're just going to have a very... Oh, don't put that in the fridge, you little fucker. You little fucker. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. Why are you doing that? Oh, my God. Okay. Everybody relax. <laughs> I don't know why that set me off. But it did. All right, we've got one girl. So one of the girls couldn't show up, guys. Bri uh, Briar Rose is here, but um, the other one, Cadence. I think I, I think that's invited. I might invite somebody else. I forget who. Alright. She's gonna have to pee like right away. <laughs> Aww, uh oh. She didn't age up all that great. Oh shit. Even though she learned all her stuff, she did not age up well. All right, go go to the bathroom. You're going to literally have an accident in front of everybody. <laughs> we don't want you peeing at your own party. <laughs> loves to swim. Okay, she got an extra trait. Loves to swim. That's fine. Okay. And then after that, you can grab some cake. We're going to have to get her out of this rutch that she's in. Make a friend. Maybe she can make a friend with Briar. She can have cake later. I think she should, she should like, get to know Briar Rose. So I don't know if you can see this, but she's a plant sim. So she's got the vines on her neck, and she's got the vines on her legs and on her hands. And she's got some vines on her face, but not a lot. It's mostly the rest of her body, the arms and legs. So anyway, she is a plant sim. My plant sims have get to keep their regular skin. Yeah. Hi, spider. Thanks for the lurk. <laughs> All right, come on out here. Say hi to Briar. Okay. See, I expect him to put the gelatin away, not his brother. <laughs> oh, they're getting along. That's good. Uh, she wants to make a friend. So we're just going to sit there and we're going to talk to her until she's friends with us. We're going to do macro socialize friendly. Okay, they're, getting, they're definitely getting along. This is really good. I don't know if Leonid is Shrek's half brother or not. I'm not sure if they share the same alien parent. I don't think they do. Wait, first of all, who is Shrek's alien parent? It is Kara. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Let's go back here. Marcel Ware, Citrario Gilbert, Anthony Martin, Harry Beniz. Oh, that's his, that's his, uh, on his human side. Holding Cullen? Okay, so no, that's not his half-brother. But they're still both alien, half-alien. Uh, What's happening? What's happening? Oh, that's right. Oh, you are pregnant! Oh, you rascal. This is your second alien baby. I don't think your wife's going to like that. You haven't even had a baby with your wife yet. 
She hasn't given you a human child yet, and you're already on your second alien baby. Um, that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Wait a second, hold up, hold up. Where is she at with her? It's kind of hard to tell. She has to. I have to wait till uh, I cancel the action to see how far up they've gone. So let's just see. Hold on. Um. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't actually they're they're still pretty low score i don't know what's going on here they seem to be getting along quite a bit this is going to take longer than just a couple minutes oh she did not want to play rock paper scissors that is not good why don't you hang out with her Where's the... Oh, he's doing his homework. <laughs> I don't know why he's doing it in the garden. <laughs> I mean, he has a desk where he could put his homework, and he's just in his own little world because he doesn't have homework today. Whee! He's a perfect student. And Mom is just sitting at the table. Hey, Mom, clean up. I <laughs> stole. Oh, she needs more cake. More cake. Like, all of a sudden, they're not getting along. I don't think she's going to become friends with this girl. Alright, where is Shrek? Okay, so all the kids have gone home because it's after 8. Except for Briar Rose, because she's busy being socialized. So her parent is going to show up to... It's going to be probably Otis. Uh, because I don't think it would be her stepmom. Although I did, she does recognize her as a child. So it could be her stepmom. I'm going to assume it's Otis that should, is going to come by any second now. Looking for her. Are you done with your homework, sweetie? Looks like it. Oh, Leanne is still here. Okay, so Sherman Vogel might be by, too. Melissa Carter is still here. All right, why don't you go talk to the adult here? We still have a minute and 48 seconds, so why don't you macro socialize with Melissa Carter? Where's the macro? Where's the macro? There it is. There we go. Everybody has to socialize in order for it to be a good score. Oh. <laughs> I'm surprised that none of the parents have shown up. Maybe it's because it's a party? <laughs> but I think most of the kids left. There's only a couple that are still here. Sherman's still here and Briar Rose is still here. But Briar Rose has been, been socializing this whole time. Oh, there's an opening in intelligence career track as a double agent level eight. Yes, take the job. Oh, I gotta write this down. Good for you, buddy. Now you just need two more promotions. And you will be head of the SCIA. Track. Right. Well, at least he showed up he was here in time for the party. So why don't you have some cake? Not you. I want Dad to get some cake. Here we go. 
Où toi, Blatara <laughs> Oh wow, her hygiene sucks. She's been at it pretty much all day. So we still have 47 seconds left. <laughs> Where are your parents, Leonid? My gosh. Nobody's used the pool yet. Oh, they fell up. Well, we're pretty much... Oh, okay. Oh, okay, now they're doing that. So I actually have a music and dance overhaul fix by Boiling Oil. And very few people are allowed to actually do this dance. Uh, it has to meet certain criteria. Oh. So that's why you don't see people dancing this muscle all the time in my game. It's just, it's very rare that you see them doing it. Hello. All right, what's what's happening with Dad? I think the party's got 18 seconds left. All right, Dad, start cleaning up. Your, your wife just passed out on the bed. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think that it's going to be an okay party. It says that they're having a good time right now, but it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. At the last second, it'll change for whatever reason. But this is not technically a birthday party, so... All right, everybody get the fuck out. Okay, so they had a good time. So it was a good party. All right. Um, all right. She's actually hungry, so I'm going to have her grab some more cake. And Dad. Dad needs to take care of his... His motives. All right, you. Turn that off. Go to bed. You are super tired. There goes Melissa Carter. We just happened to be walking across the... in front of the house as the party was getting started, so... She was a late ad. Oh, there's Sherman! She's like, where's my son? He just left! You just missed him! He, you literally walked right past him. What, what is she doing? Oh, she's having a bubble bath. Okay. You can have a bubble bath. Alright, where is Dad? Oh, Dad's having a shower. And then Dad's going to go to bed. Otis Fielding came by to, to get... <laughs> There's Otis right there. Where were you an hour ago? So Sherman Bogle did show up and so did Otis Fielding. But the kids have already left. So we're pretty much done at this point. <laughs> we're done with this family because we're supposed to stop at 6 in the morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait till she's aged up at midnight and then to, uh, subtract one day from her, if that makes sense. Because at midnight she'll age up again. All right, so she should be. Actually, she's. It still says she's ninety-six days away, which is like the full. So she didn't technically age up. Maybe I have a mod that takes care of that. Who knows? Anyway, we're pretty much done. I don't like her outfit. Um, but we'll change that later. It's okay, actually. It's very colorful. So I guess. I guess it's okay. Um, but yeah. We're going to see these guys in 48 days, so she will still be a child. Harry will still be a child, and he will be a teenager. And the story progression will pick his aspiration for him, his temporary aspiration. Uh, I will recalculate it when he's in college, most likely. Anyway, we're done with this family. So, oh my gosh, hi Jabusa. <laughs> Hold on, I need to I need to see what's going on here. In chat. I need to switch windows. You should play that guy who got alien pregnant. Maybe he can make his wife pregnant too so they can be pregnant together. Ooh, that's a good idea, Namertis. I think I'll do that. I might do that tomorrow, like off stream. Because I love having uh situations like that where the alien child and the human child are like pretty much twins, sort of. Sort of twins, I like to call them. 
Yeah, they. So I should have just cheated and given her given her high aspiration because she actually learned how to do potty training and learn how to speak and all that stuff in the last rotation. So even though people were like interacting with her socially and stuff, she just grew up badly, which just kind of sucks. But anyway. Oh, thank you, Jewusa. I'm actually. Oh my God, romantic affair, really? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Hold on, I, I'm just about finished with these guys. So the next group that we're going to do is Brock Thornton and Melissa Carter. So we're going to do the romantic affair with them. I'm just going to write this down. Romantic affair. Okay, okay. We're going to do that with the next family. So that's going to be Brock and Melissa and, and all of their kids, <laughs> which is a lot. <laughs> All right, so I'll see you guys Friday. Is anybody on right now that, that you want me to raid? So I'll set up a raid. Hold on. I have a new phone, and I'm still getting used to it. Let's see who's on on Twitch right now. I'm so hungry. <laughs> oh, my God. But at least I got through the rotation. Feel free to use it on anyone you'd like. The oh, I can use it on anybody. Oh, good. I'm going to probably use it on a couple I don't like, like the DeBoers. <laughs> oh, gosh. They're such assholes. <laughs> All right. Sammy Sundog is on. Playing Sims 2. It doesn't have to be somebody playing The Sims 2. It could just be like a friend of yours if anybody has a friend that's on right now. Let me see, we got Fallout New Vegas, Minecraft, Pink Cloud Gaming, Grand Theft Auto. So, I don't know. What was their name again? Oh, the person that's on right now, Sammy Sundog? And she's got 48 people watching her play The Sims 2, so... I don't know. I don't know if she. I get the feeling she doesn't care if she gets raided. Like she doesn't really interact with the raiders all that much. It just doesn't. She doesn't seem to care. So if no, if nobody. Oh, there's Shenrir. Actually, let's go ahead and uh, we'll do Shenrir. He's actually been on for several hours, so we're gonna set that raid up. He's a really good simmer. Hello. My computer's being very naughty right now. I don't think I can I don't think I can set up the raid, you guys. Okay, I don't know if I can set up this. It's kind of frozen on my other thing. So anyway, fuck it. I'm going to just go. <laughs> I'll see you guys Friday. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.